From the past, we know that the world has been in, uninhabited by gods for quite some time. We know oh, that the gods had abandoned the world, but we're not exactly sure why. Some people believe that the gods abandoned the world due to self-interest. Others believe that they were fighting a holy war that they could not keep their eyes on Tarith. But one thing is for sure, the gods are absent. This absence has caused arcana in the world, the spirit of the gods, or the magic of the world, to be quite scarce. And because of so many races had been fighting for predominant power over who would rule over Tarif, and who would get their hands on the most amount of arcana as possible. This kind of war has shown to be very taxing on many civilizations. Orcs, elves, humans, sea folk, the birds of the sky. Practically everyone has been affected by this. And because of so, tensions have grown quite high. On the, on the continent of Arcanada, a massive war has been brewing. But we're not going to talk about that right now. For now, we're going to talk about the current problems on the high seas. A group of five adventurers who had banded together over one specific notion. A wanted sign. Wanted for adventurers to get away from the lives and the problems of our continents and want to experience what it would be like to adventure, seek, and thrill onto the epics of danger. So now you find yourself here, a small porting town on the high seas known as Smuggler's Outpost, where you have reluctantly decided to band together to create a small team that is in league with the Smugglers of the Coast. The Smugglers of the Coast is a very wide and open and energetic group wanting to explore around whatever Tarif has to offer. Not many seem to succeed, considering that even though the gods have abandoned it, their creations were not abandoned. So now we see our heroes stalking their ship or coming in one by one through different vessels, all just to meet the head honchos who run this place to see what kind of treasures and what kind of mischief they can get involved in. Welcome to Tales of the High Seas. All right, so we're here to find someone, yes? Someone right. in charge? Yes? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, thanks for the very delayed response. You guys are gonna come along, or are you gonna stand here and do nothing? They gave me a funny hat, so yes. Okay, whatever. The guard stops you as you approach, holding his hand out high. Paul's there. What brings you to smugglers? What brings you to smugglers' outpost? Uh, we're here to talk with one of your superiors. Uh, I think we have, they might have a job for us. I'm not too sure of their name, though. Um, would you be able to point us in the direction? Sure thing. Make your way up to the top of Smuggler's Area. Make your way over to the top of towards the tavern. We'll see a man up there. We'll love to speak with you most eagerly. Okay. Go on Thank now. You. Get on. Thank you. Timing. As you guys enter the open tavern, you start to see one of you. Drinks going around through the bartenders and through the barmaids. Any. What seems to be skilled adventurer is sitting around. Either drinking, talking, or sharpening their blades, flashing knives together, or a small bar, a small, a small brawl in the corner. People are just talking, 
minding their own business. It seems like that there's crews together. It's not extremely popular, considering it's a very small bar like area. It is, after all, made from skeleton of a ship. What would you like to do? Oh, 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 what the fuck? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, started level two. My man just flew in at mock speed. Um, paper. Uh, excuse me, sir. <clears throat> yes, can I help you? Uh, we're looking for someone that, um, Potentially gives out quests or missions. Do you know of anyone here that would do that? Yeah, I know him. He must be one of the new adventuring groups looking to get out there, aren't you? That is correct. Take a seat at the table. I'll go ahead and grab you a couple drinks, and I'll go ahead and let him know that you're here. Oh, thank you so much. I have no mouth, but I must scream. We're missing one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you joining us? Oi! Get your fucking furry tail down here! That was mean. Do you not speak? Carpenter, if you're not going to speak, at no, least no, no. describe your actions. Oh, did you not see me fucking nodding myself? No, we can no. see you, but describe your actions. Well, if you see it, then I don't need to really describe it, no? Yeah, no, you do. <laughs> we can <laughs> see it, we don't understand <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck it means sometimes, though. <laughs> I'm nodding no, it's pretty damn obvious. You're nodding no? My... He's nodding <laughs> no, guys. If I'm shaking myself no, then you should, pretty... <laughs> it should be pretty clear. Alright, if you say so. <laughs> they didn't say Just anything, know that you might not hear what uh, is being said, and I'd rather not have to repeat it to you later. I'm definitely not repeating it to you later. Oh, they never said anything. That's no, the man will hand going to. The man will hand... F oh, the man will hand four drinks poured of ale to each member of the party. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Now that's going to be about one silver piece each. Oh. Hopefully that you... Uh, here you go. I hand over a silver piece. Much obliged. Oh. Do keep in mind that, uh, copper to silver is ten silver per one copper. Huh? Everything is in tens. So, copper to silver, ten copper for one silver. 10 silver for one gold piece. Okay. So, do we have any And then 10 slash? gold. No, so you would hand no, him so... gold and then he would give silver in return. Okay. I was curious. 9 silver. So you'll give me one gold piece and I'll give you 9 silver back. Yes. I fixed it. Cool. I've handed mine over. Likewise. Uh okay. I'll pay. <laughs> You're not, if you're not going to drink, then don't pay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I won't. So you're telling me that I pulled this drink for this armored it's... man, and that he won't even accommodate for it? I, I don't have a mouth. You know what, I'll fucking That's buy his. That's not my problem. I'll buy his. I mean, I can oh, pay you. for it. <laughs> If you're going to be taking a if you're going to be taking a seat in my bar, you need to have a drink or food. No. Oh. Can't have people just sitting around not doing anything. It's bad for business. Oh, get off the chair. <laughs> Alright then. You will not eat, and I expect you to please wait outside the bar until your fellow fan until your fellow friends are done talking. Okay. 
Unless with unless if one of you would like to pay the silver piece I for him to be here. I can pay it, yeah. Then that would be more than splendid, thank you. Okay. To make sure that you're paying for the seats, that's all that I ask. How I am only running a business chair? here of the bar. Well, since we're drinking in game, I might as well drink in real life. I don't have any. Raccoon man, over there. You need to pay up your tab. I, I, okay. <laughs> we're so fucking low, bro. Speak up. Speak up, please. God damn. It's fine. I'll, I'll just pay. I can't hear him at all. Yeah, I can't hear him. He'll pay. Just pay. Splendid! Thank you all so much for dining here over at Smuggler's Outpost Bar. If you need anything, just give me a holler. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, indeed. Ah, <sighs> jeez. I'm, I'm just gonna pick up my beer and hand it to this guy. Roach is asleep. As a sign of good faith. Good job. Look at you, mate. You've he's made man happy today. The, he's doing a charisma check on the bot. I, I wasn't, but okay. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, Garbage. I'm joking, my friend. Oh my. <laughs> so I guess we just say and wait. Yeah. We're waiting for that man, whatever the man's name is. We never learned the man's name. No, we didn't. Yeah, that was, we probably should have asked. Bub, he why said did he was going to get him. God damn it, Bub. He said why he made did us pay his name? Food. If, you, if you bought a maid, drink the maid. That's what I'm doing. I'm already drinking halfway, Mike. I bought a Slam chair. Back should I eat the chair? No, don't. What? I was what? gonna force the fight. It's a chair! Well, I bought it. No, no you bought the that... drink, not the chair! Oh. It's a ter it's a term mate! Oh. It seems to be strung a little bit. Oh. <laughs> really loud noises are happening. Really right loud now. for a second or two there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh shit. Oh no. It's getting really oh, epic. Boy. Okay, let's make sure I wasn't pirate music. music. In the corners of the back, it starts to hear rattling. My chains and buttons as, a, as if gold is going to be clashing together. It seems to be boots, fine leather boots are hitting the ground as you see a man walking towards you. Not exactly a man, but a man-like character walking towards the table. Who just casually you're sits gonna walking. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> shave the chair, dog. <laughs> it must be Vegeta. It must be Vegeta. <laughs> Skeleton stares at you, rattling his teeth and... Cupping his hand on the cutlass of his blade. Well, I, did I didn't expect oh, you no. to be here. <laughs> aren't you just a? <laughs> aren't you just the fellow as bad of characters I've seen yet? I give the skeleton puppy dog guys. Benedict, something's no. wrong with your dog. Stop. Hold on, wait. He's not a dog. He's, he's a fucking he's a rock, raccoon. Is that is that a is that is that a persuasion or a charisma roll? <laughs> no, I just wanted to look. At, I just wanted to give you puppy dog eyes. <laughs> I don't. Just no roll attached to it. He just wanted to do it. Well, before we go any fi fine f father, what? fine fellow, what's your name? I was going to introduce myself before you decided to interrupt me. What are you fucking... Oh, you're one of those knife ears, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't seen one of you in a while. You may call me Captain Bones. I'm currently the organizing leader of this small little band of merry men. Bones. Why do they call you Captain Bones? 
Why do you think they call me that, dipshit? Seriously, something might be wrong with your dog. We're starting uh, to think that too, sir. I think it's because he has bones. Ah. Uh, How then? I know he's calling me a dog, but I, I know he's calling me a dog, but I don't like. It. Stop. But I don't like Just stop. stop. Now then, Thanks. oh my god! I see that you guys are currently Thanks. here, wanting to be a part of the brand new Mary crew of the Smugglers. But I probably should use Old Spice too. Well, yeah, I must say that we've been having quite a bit of a. I just have it turned down enough so I don't hear it. Get an ad blocker, please. An ad blocker. Get an ad blocker for the. Okay, I'll get YouTube Premium. No, do not buy YouTube Premium. Do not buy YouTube Premium. Just fucking get an ad blocker, dude. Someone left. Now then. Oh, what happened? What? Chris. Crazy me, Ice, Cyan, Arbiter. Who? Who left? I just saw Arbiter on my screen. Arbiter's here. Yeah, Arbiter's gone. I see him. Here. We're talking about in game, not oh, in this okay. Arbiter? Arby's gone. I think he died. Are we good to fuck your dog guy? Oh. I think the dog oh, had a seizure. Oh, and he's back. Hmm. I think the, uh, I the see. dog had a seizure. I see that my mobile device is currently having a stroke. My bag, my bag. Oh, the pies, golly. <clears throat> Alright, as as we were saying, continue on. Well, I must say that we've been having quite the little adventurers as of late. With the current wars going on in Akinata, a lot of people have been drafted towards the war, and a lot of people have been running in towards their armies. So to be fair, I want to be quite frank with you, Many of our adventurers have been currently gone, but we've been very little without some. Now then, parts of here on our lucrative business here, we are willing to uh, grab some. We are able to provide some contracts for you to see that you can do what you may. And you may sail the open seas under the name of the smugglers. And we'll be able to bring ourselves to another. Highest stand of glory, like we used to be. <laughs> but now then, I assume that you don't want to hear about the introductions. To be quite frank, I don't want to know who you are. You're just another face in our. You're just another face in our little organization here. With that being said, you don't need to get much too much farther into the chit chat. I assume that you're here for your first contract. <laughs> Is that correct, boys? And Tom. Yeah. I'm not a boy. I'm not a dog. Be back in a sec. You guys can continue. Well then, with that being said, I do have three contracts available that you may be able to choose from. Captain Bones would then take out three parchments of paper and lay them down onto the table. Spread out and open so that you may be able to read them. You may choose whichever one you like, and you may choose whichever one you like, or if you have enough to funds, you may be able to buy all three of the contracts. Yes, the contracts are paid. I'm not just giving you willy-nilly- I'm not just giving you random places for you to go adventure for free of charge, no. If you want to go exploring with us, you're going to have to pay the toll, and you have to pay the bounty. That's how things work around here. So how much is it for one contract? Because you're new, give your first contract 10 gold, but usually it'll round out to be around either 15 gold. I'll just make it, you know what? Scratch that. You all have been kind of nice so far, so I'm going to be making you guys quite the offer. 10 gold pieces per contract. If you wish to take all three, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Uh, I shall inspect one of the contracts, the closest one to me. The closest contract to you states... Arcanaden states that the Arcanaden Trading Co. The contract's fine print reads that there is a... The fine contract print reads as follows. 
A cargo shuttle from the Arcanaden territory is currently making its way from the high seas outposting areas to the docking city of Saltspire. The contract reads that we it is unknown can it is unknown what is inside of these containers, but whatever is provided is yours for the living. The only thing that is required for you to bring the contract back would be a case of red wine fire elixir. There is at least five cases of these on board and must be brought back safe and sound for full payment and profit. Contract worth 10 gold pieces. Reward contract worth 20 gold pieces for the party total. The reward was 20. The reward is 20. Saving notes in my notes. Court, uh, would you mind handing over one of the other contracts to me? Two. Captain Bones would then take his middle finger, point it at the middle contract, and then flick it towards the bird man. I the paper catch. would then land in front of the bird. He gave you the bird. Mm hmm. Oh, right, thank you. I pick it up and start to read it. Mm, yes, the mead in game is infecting me in real life. Yes. I haven't eaten anything in a while, so this 9% be hitting a little bit harder than I thought it would. The contract doesn't say much. The contract doesn't say much at all, but instead would revert to a small area. It would lead you to the island known as the Ancient Isles. What that would pertain or what that gives is currently unknown. There is no current payout, but it is instead coordinates for you to explore a new area. The coordinates are currently unlisted. Once payment is complete, then coordinates would be given. So there's no real objective for this particular contract. We're just going there to find stuff. We're going there to do whatever your heart's contained. I'm just simply paying the coordinates. I'm simply paying to show you the direction of where you'll be going to the ancient isles. Hmm. How We've old mapped out ancient? quite a bit of the ancient. No exact amount of time. Just it is ancient, my tin man. <laughs> okay. It is a bit ancient, yes. So that's a potential risk on our parts, isn't it? Yes. We simply provide... We have mapped out the entirety of the high seas. Whether you want to be able to learn the coordinates and find... Find the islands yourselves, or... You can sail there and actually make it there in a day or two times. Day or two tops. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to go ahead and sail around the seas and take a week, two weeks total, just to save on a couple gold pieces. Other adventurers might even get there before you, so it's in your best interest to try and take coordinates while we can. Whether it's a risk or not is not entirely our problem. We can just only, map it out. Can only one group buy these contracts at a time? Well, obviously not, if he's saying that we could run into other adventurers. Okay, then what? how do we know that someone else hasn't already bought the coordinates? Uh, they like, most likely they have. have. It's a bit of a risk. Again, but... whatever happens whatever happens to the other adventurers, by your means or whatever, is completely up to you, and we do not cover insurance with that. Ha ha ha! By that I mean I do not condone or condemn anything that does happen to the other adventurers or to you. Which means, go nuts. Do but do not link it back to us, plans? because if you do link it back to us... You no. have insurance plans! <laughs> I am a skeleton. What do you think? I mean, maybe you have dental? Okay. Oh my lord. Let's just hear about this last contract of yours, yes? Yes, of course. I will go ahead and give it to your robed dog over here. 
Can the dog I barely leave? even know the thing. I yeah, don't I know. The damn fur-covered rodents today. Can I read? You know what? Yeah, you're right. Can the dog even read? <laughs> yes, you can read. Great. Punk, you can read. It, everyone here knows common, which should be written on the pages as common. So yes, everyone should know. Oh, so the I, dog I, can I, read. Very well, then the doggy should be is your to read. I don't know. It's a but fucking it, raccoon on bipedal legs. Can it tell us what is on the document, though? Do, do, do you guys not see the book in my hand? I... He obviously it can read. It doesn't mean you can read. <laughs> Maybe it's a picture book. He speaks but... fucking gibberish, and somehow it comes out as magic. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's just a picture book, and he just likes the picture book. Uh, I, I don't think... I don't think spell books are picture books, but... You never know. How do you mean, know? I'm it not the one reading Can you read or not, dog? I... Yes, I can. Jesus. <laughs> okay. The skeleton would then... The skeleton would then pick up the paper gently and then place it in front of the dog. <laughs> gently? I hesitantly pick up a piece of paper, see something on the paper, and quickly put it back down. Uh, yeah, no, you guys can have that. I I don't want it. Oh my god. Hand it over. I quickly hand it over. I pick it up and start reading it. Fucking useless. <laughs> I don't think he can read. I think it is a picture book. <laughs> you take a it's a picture book strapped to his hip right now. But you don't understand. I saw the demons on that fucking pamphlet. No, guys. He's a bad moment. I saw my demons. So the current, on that the current contract that you have here isn't is not anything that you've seen before, but instead a bounty poster. Wanted bounty. dead. The dog. Captain, Captain Sorelius is what it says. Reward fifty gold pieces. Hmm. This is a hit contract. An assassination, almost. I wouldn't call it an assassination. I would more call it a... Uh, a reimbursement of our investments. Who is this captain? Captain Sorelius was another captain of our, of our lovely band of crew. who decided to turn against us and try to have the... And try to have the Akhenaten Empire, Mithoe told us. Now, of course, considering that we are lawless bandits, pillagers, and might I say, damn good handsome ones, we unfortunately do not correspond with the Akhenaten law. With that being said, most of us are indeed wanted criminals, and he wanted to rat us out. So we are offering 50 gold pieces for the head of this traitor. Can we keep the Obvious. rest of the body? What? Why do you want I a don't body? know what you would want to do with the body, but what you do in your own time. So is... you would prefer him <laughs> dead my than alive, yes. I want his head cut clean from his body, and then yes, he will be paid. I'm really starting if to like we, this, for, for whatever reason, are able to live in him here yeah, alive, so you could do as you wish towards him, would we perchance be paid a little bit more? No. Mm. He can do whatever so he wants is. to the head. What? <laughs> I. That is why I said bring him in dead. I'm not here to pay you a miracle wreck. Bring him dead so I don't have to pay you extra. Alright. Do you know if you wish to bring him alive, though, no, kudos to you. No. So, we're just supposed to explore the entire planet looking for this captain to hopefully find him and hopefully kill him to bring him back to you. Yes. Sounds about right. God damn it. Well, even if so, Burb, I think we should take the contract I looked at in that bounty contract. Why are you calling me Burb? Burb is not my name. I'm calling you Burb because you haven't stated your name, Burb. My name is Apollo. Get this correct, or please don't ever say it again. Why are okay, you saying Apollo, Burb, Burb anyway? He looks like a bird, not a Burb. 
Anyways, out of character, do we wish to take the hit quest and the crate quest? Yes. I say yes. I'll uh, hold on. If we just find, if we find the guy randomly, because if we're looking for him, we can look for him now that we know what he looks like either way. We just would be taking the poster with us. Potentially, yeah. 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 So it, what if we so. just find him first and then accept the contract? We kill him and then bring the head back. Out. Yeah, kill him. Hey. If I kill him, then you would. That's not how this works around here. If you want to kill the target and go ahead and deliver the contract, it's completely up to you. But you do note that if the contract has been sated and you do it free, I'm not liable for whoever decides to come after you for basically getting free money. Great. Okay. Um. Okay, well, so if we're taking both those uh, things, then we each just need to cough up five gold to make it even. That or someone can pay 20 gold. A ball? Gold. <laughs> How did you do that? How did you type? That was such a fast little thing, dude. I'll pay you 10 gold for the great contract of someone. Or we can just split type? it five evenly. Enter. Just type, just press enter. Did you guys not try? I I wasn't doing that, but do we just want to split evenly? Yeah, Five sure. gold each. I don't mind. I have no use uh, okay. for money. As we state this, I put five gold upon the table. I Likewise. do that. Dog? Does the dog know what money is? Fucking fine, vermin! <laughs> Moners on the table. How Go many ahead and remove five gold pieces from your, con uh, your character sheet. I have. I have. The skeleton quickly grabs the gold and starts counting them with... Starts counting them one by one before clutching them in his fist and putting them in his pockets. Thank you all so much for being able to pay your dues. Now, you have your contracts, and best of luck. Yes. The man, okay. in the, the man in the dark armor and hooded figure walks towards the table and places down ten gold pieces, taking down the one contract that you guys did not pick up before stuffing it in his pocket and leaving. Well, that was quite fast. What a goblin. Oh, he jumped. I swear, I just saw him jump off the cliff. I swear, I just saw him jump off the cliff as well, but. The... We'll ignore that part. Is there anything else about these contrasts that we need to know of before we leave? Everything that you need is currently on the contract itself. If you wish to go ahead and read more of the contract, go ahead. And so then, I bid thee farewell, and uh, good luck with your current quests. Yes, of course. Thank you. As stated, part of being of your ship and dues, we have granted you a fine vessel for you to use. The ship is yours, blah blah blah. Don't wreck it, please. If you die, we need to retreat. Thank you. Good Out of character. Still a hole in it. Cringe. Not my problem. Okay, before we leave here, does anyone have anything to do with any of the shopkeeps? No. I need more arrows. I can fix that immediately if you wish. That would be very helpful. Just break the bow, and you'll never need more arrows. Uh, I fucking the bartender mean... bartender walks up to the table and collects the beer. Uh, empty... I don't even think any of you all actually fucking drank your drinks, did you? I, I did. I'm the only one that didn't. <laughs> I drank my goddamn mug. I gave my to the whatever uh, my character drinks. I drink, so my impairedness actually kind of works with it. All right. The bartender goes ahead and picks up the empty bar, uh, the empty cups, taking the one full one and chugging it down. You're Damn! To drink Thank you for job. staying. Thank you for staying here. Now get out. I've got more customers on the way. If you wish to stay here any longer, you're going to have to pay for your tape. Yes, yes. Wait, 
I oh, thank you chair. so much Can for take the table chair? assist. You're not taking the chair. Let's oh, go. Okay, well, we said pay. You for didn't the pay table for the chair. Time. You pay for the drink. Oh, hey, hey. I can't <laughs> see. <laughs> Apollo, just the bard. Let him solve the issues. As you all walk out, the bard waves over towards the raccoon as a sign of good gesture as he walks through the door. Let's go. <laughs> the raccoon's gonna get laid. The raccoon's gonna. <laughs> Five seconds in, we're already God, having God. a party. The raccoon did say they were gonna get oh. sex, so. Oh, hey, the dark hooded figure. Okay. That man has been standing there for the past hour and a half. I don't understand it. What do you mean? <laughs> oh no, water! <laughs> oh no, the, our pirate's one weakness. <laughs> Yarg! <laughs> Yarg, water. <laughs> Yarg, water. Why do we sail on a boat? <laughs> the skeleton known as Jeeves just sits there and rattles to himself. <laughs> I'm the captain. <laughs> uh, you say you're the captain, but I'm at the wheeling. The wheelie wheel. Alright, someone grab a map or something. I need to know what direction I need to go in. The thing is, none of the maps have the fucking fucking town on it! Find <laughs> it! We need to know which way to go! Someone check the the contract for the crates, real quick. Uh, I pull out you, the contract You, Sharpers, you have the contract, yes? My name is Farrell, but yes, I have the contract. Nice to meet you, the contract out of my bag. You dog, what is your name? Unless you want to keep being called dog. I'm just trying to figure out how to open the door. <laughs> Bro. Like I don't think you can, it. just walk in. Just, just, I don't no, think you can. Just no, I'm, I'm him. clicking it right click and it's, it gives me the option to open, but it doesn't open. Really? Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. You got it, you got it. I take okay. nap. I take, I take okay. nap. Okay, as I stated So we're before. just gonna let the raccoon dog immediately take the captain's fucking... The raccoon dog is the captain, I guess. That's not okay, how that so works, but sure. I closed the door. You know, I think it's really funny. Griffin gave his skeleton open. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Well, as it stated, I pull out the contract from my bag and read it more thoroughly to figure out where the town is. As you continue oh. to sail along, you hear the seagulls chirping in the sky. You feel the nice breeze brushing against your face, or in this case, your metal. <laughs> As it is a very calming and very just relaxing ride for most of you. Gosh. However, in the room... In the room where Arbiter is sleeping, you start to feel a <laughs> chill. You start to hear a ch you start to feel a chill. Ear bones, a very familiar chill. As you lay tossing and turning in the night, you start to hear things whisper into your ear. It is very familiar to you. And you're the only one that feels this. As the others continue to talk, and to joke and to jest towards each other, as the robot will literally be literal, as it does not know what else it can be. You start to f see this image in your head as you sleep image of people like you. They stand there, silent, watching you as you slowly drift into sleep. Before long, one of them seemingly gets closer to you as they place their hand around your neck in a choking embrace. <laughs> what would you like to do, Arbiter? I'm crying in my sleep. Tears begin to roll down your eyes. 
uh, or, I'm sorry, tears begin to roll down your cheek from your eyes close tightly as the figure in the room starts to tighten its grip around your throat. It says something to you uncomprehensible. As it's Griffin. It, <laughs> as it tightens its now. grip more and more. You wake really up in a cold upset. sweat. Grabbing at your throat as if something had happened, but you see nothing in there. But you still feel the cold chill in the room. <laughs> you just see a little speech bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see them? Did you see what yes. I said or not? I saw the yeah, yeah, we saw okay. it. It's very short, but yeah, we saw it. Okay, yeah, no. So if I'm ever doing like a proper action, I'm probably just gonna type it out. And if I really have to like, As... back, then I'll do that. Cool. Okay, so how D and D usually works is that you have to like explain what you're doing. Like you have to like, like describe to me what your character is doing. Like talk to me like what you're doing. Paint me the picture of what your character is doing. Don't just slash me. <laughs> yeah, don't just slash me. Just like, like give, like tell me, like give me some detail on what you're doing. Okay, but don't type that. Say that to me. <laughs> hey, I, I think if it works, it works. You know. It, it, it works. It. Fuck it, if that's what you want to do, go ahead. Just know I'm not always looking at the screen, so I can't always read what you're typing. Because I'm doing no, things in the background, too. Um, a question out of character. How do I get my ranger's companion? Uh, sign can spawn in. Or are you talking about how you actually get it? Well, it says at third level, which is where it, third mm -hmm. level... Yeah. Uh, it, you just get, it says you gain a beast companion that accompanies you. Yeah, it, so you it, have it, one. So... That is no, long, is no larger than medium, and that has a challenge rating of quarter or lower. Yeah, so find a beast of that. Don't know how to find a beast of that, but okay. I will... So what do you want to spawn? Another it's dog. a question. I don't know what we have. I'm not spawning another dog. Um, I can spawn another... in whatever I... Your dog. What do you want to spawn in, Crazy? I'll spawn it in for you. What's my options of what we have? What's, what, is your character able, what is your character able to spawn? Anything of medium and lower. <laughs> That's all it states. I oh, will read exactly. I will read exactly what it says. At I can do level, a cat, dog, chicken. I can do a monkey, an owl, a rabbit, a snake. I, I literally have a lot of options here. I can do a crab. Is there a raven? Um. There is. Yes. I love this. His name is Odin. Is that what you want? Yes. You call out into the ocean as you want to as you want to call a friend towards you. Go ahead and make a go ahead and give me a call. How would you call your raven? Oh fuck. Damn. I didn't think about this. Fuck. Oh, raven. I have a question. Do I see hey, a yo, raven Mary coming the boat? I, I know what it is. I stand at the Hold edge on. of the uh, huh. Let me move. I, I stand at the edge of the boat on the side of the bar, and I yell out to the ocean in a stern manner, Odin to me. Bad. Okay, so actually, the way that you say that was very, uh, very lackluster. <laughs> the bird cannot hear you. You need to speak louder in order for the bird to hear you. Yeah, give me more flair, puppet boy. I'm <laughs> yelling in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> That's but fair. in a very loud yelling mustard of strength I say Odin to me 
crazy. You actually have to speak louder. No, did you not hear what Body the character. Come on. Basement. There's people oh. trying to sleep in my house. <laughs> no you gotta screaming. remember, it's 10 p.m. right now. <laughs> no one is gonna yell. Oh, I mean, I unless they live alone and are sad. Arbiter will. I'm not alone. It's well, I can't say that saying the part, but I'm oh. not alone. But I'll still fucking yell. The bird reluctantly flies towards you as it lands down over on the perch. As it lands on the boat. It stares at you, bobbing its head gently as it sees to react to your call. The bird is now with you until it dies. Do I see it? Do, do we see it coming in? It's yes, you will see the bird right coming in, except Arbiter. Arbiter is currently having a panic attack in the fucking Audio room. jungle. Who the fuck? <laughs> Why is there a fire alarm going off? I make that noise any time something approaches the ship. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know where the, the audio jungle came from, but I think that makes it better. That was so <laughs> off. That was weird. I shall move him. I wish. Bam. The bird now joins your party. The bird now joins. Does anyone else, uh, Tongue? Do you wish to do anything? I am. I can't move, so I mean. I'm just looking. Okay. Do I. Do you want uh, me to make active perception? Ice? I'm just driving. You can if you boat. want to. Yeah, sure. Just... I'll do that. You drive the boat. The boat goes. continues to drive smoothly. So, you have a bird? I do, Apollo. I do. Okay. I don't okay. even know how I made it all the way out here, but sure. Damn! Okay. Yeah, Unnatural I'm 20. so perceptive, bro. You as that? you I continue to look that. out on the... As you continue to look out on the ocean, you see that it is quite barren. Some islands will pass by here and there on your way forward. A couple other ships passing by, some big, some small. None of the ones that you were looking for, however. How many ships? It is quite... Actually, give me one second. Oh boy! I won't, I, won't, I, won't, I won't play the alarm <laughs> unless unless I am said. It's quite peaceful for you as you continue. It's quite peaceful as you continue to roll around. In the distance, you do see storm clouds forming, but they don't seem to be in your way nor in your path. You continue to sail forward on and on. Let's go. As you on continue up to then. sail. Storm. Nighttime boat. arises. <laughs> it is dark. It is very dark. Apollo, thank you for the great observation. Yes, you're welcome. I Let's just hope is... that we don't run Great. into an island or two. Indeed, Apollo. I say this as uh, Odin perches upon my right shoulder. The bird will perch upon your rage folder as what it cause. What happened to the, the dog? The bird is clearly hungry. Well, I don't know if he's still down in the captain's quarters. Can, can one of you check up on him? He hasn't come out since the since we've left. It's I'm night time to open now. The door. I can't it move. is literally dark out right now, and I haven't seen him a single time. Can I someone can't please check on him? him? He seems. Please, I'm trying to open the door. Ooh, my heart's low. That's funny. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch would like to open a door, please. Benedict Cumberbatch. Wrong door! <laughs> Wrong door. Uh, you just said just a door, not the door. Burb would like to open a door. Can you please get rid of that? Uh, Apollo, I spot the dog. <laughs> yes, I see him. But Yo, he's visibly sweating. Raccoon dog. Where have you been? It's been quite some time I... since we've seen you. I have been sleeping. For an entire day. I'm a heavy sleeper. Eh, right. That's the one who's visibly sweating. I. No. What the fuck you mean, not all? That's a clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
listen, I I may have gone a little too hot in there. All right, it's it's really warm in there. What's the temperature no. outside right now, sign? <laughs> um, it is very lukewarm right now. <laughs> you can feel like a cold ocean breeze hitting up on your ship. It is very pleasant. You you are very comfortable in this weather. Not me. The fuck. <laughs> I I cross my arm. Are you sure? That's all it's been. It's quite normal. Actually, uh, quite out, comfortable, out, even. Out here, maybe. In there, it was pretty fucking warm. I don't know what you want to. I don't know what you I want me to say. Right. Can one of you check the map? See how far away we are. Wait, where even? There. Uh, give me this. Do we have? Please actual just map? see what you're saying, my guy. We, we don't actually have anything. Um, so basically, check the map and then Sign tells you how far we are. I checked the map to see how much longer we have to go. <laughs> Why do I have a hammer and a crowbar? D what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just looking through my inventory right now. I have a hammer and a crowbar. And also a small knife. It's probably because your bag. It is definitely because of my bag, but I just think it's so random. I'm drowning. Did you jump off the <laughs> How much time we got? How far away are we, Sign? <laughs> uh, you check the map and you see that you're by morning you will arrive at your destination at the boat. Okay. Only a little bit longer. I can see the sun starting to rise. Does anyone else wish to do anything before you continue on in your journey? Can I cry? <laughs> you cry. You begin to start crying gently to yourself as you... Uh, as I stare into I'm not the exactly ocean sure why you're crying. <laughs> as you stare into the ocean, you begin to cry more and more. Yeah. You were actively sobbing at this point. People can start hearing you. No. Benedict, no. are you okay? I never told you my name! Rat dog! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? So much better. <laughs> Confirming bastard on the port bow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> he is. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Mister Cum, are you okay? Oh my god! Get out of here. You. <laughs> Arbiter, I know we haven't known each other lo long, but if you want to talk about it, since I'm here. I'm not. I'm... Tim, you're not physically available for anything. Tim, you're on top of the watchtower, what do you mean? I'm not. I'm not available. Okay. Sure. Oh my well, I mean, technically, I can't leave, I'm so. Fine. If I keep telling me, if I keep telling myself I'm fine, then I'm fine. That's right? not. That's how that works. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Have... Arbiter, take five d six psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, bro's nightmare <laughs> fucked him up. <laughs> I don't <laughs> really have an existential crisis, and it's only night to one. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's happening. Arbiter, but... the animatronics don't come out at night one. It's night two they start showing up. Tim, you are a fucking animatronic from all I know. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, he it, he's Clearly the only. Okay. Uh, if you actually want to talk about it as I'm here. No, no, it's it's nothing, it's nothing. You say that now. I said but it's I, nothing. I do hope that whatever this is doesn't oh my god. <laughs> I hope whatever this is does not distract you from the mission. I I'll be fine. Jeeves places fine. Jeeves places his hands on uh, Benedict's shoulder and just rattles. I'm the captain. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was very strange. Can we kick no. the skeleton off the ship? Okay. No, we oh. can't just kick the other skeleton off the ship. Who knows? He might actually harassed. No. Maybe. <clears throat> Who knows? He well. might be the son of the other skeleton. <laughs> Furry man, you want to tell us your name so we can stop calling you furry dog thing? I... I, um... Even just the first name! Unless you want to... <laughs> Unless you want to be called furry bastard from now on! Please stop, you're hurting my feelings! <laughs> But it, what uh, what name do you want us to call you? Uh, j just call just call me Ben. Okay, Ben. Okay, Ben. Well, we shouldn't be too much longer until we reach our destination. So, please prepare yourselves. We don't know what we're gonna find on the island. I look at the map once more just to see what the terrain is possibly going to look like. Are you guys going to the- you guys are going to the ship, right? Wherever the fucking crates are. Yeah, wherever I, the crates I, were, because the ship- There is no terrain, it's port. a cargo ship. Yeah, but it was supposed to be going to a port. Yeah, it's going to a port, but that doesn't mean- Not that, there okay. yet. It is going to a port, but you're intercepting it. Ah. Uh, noted. So we're going to a boat, never mind. I canceled that- <laughs> have I seen? So we're actually we have going to a boat. boat. Yes. Okay. As you continue, okay. So you guys are done here. You guys are willing to continue sailing. Yes. Yeah. We dicked around about. As you can. <laughs> okay. We. <laughs> we got more Sion. backstory. Sion, if I rolled a twenty on my perception, do I did I see any boats matching the description? No. Oh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> No. Let's just keep just an eye out. I have to roll again. I am doing nothing else other than keeping an eye out. <laughs> I'm hearing oh. some strange words in my ears. What? It was the ad. <laughs> oh, I muted it because it was just so funny. <laughs> I have it turned on just enough to like when it's playing music, I can hear the music, but the ads I don't hear. <laughs> strange. The music has increased in rhythm. It sounds very dangerous. Apollo, would you like to start singing a sea shanty? <laughs> Not really That's my it. thing, but if you wish to sing, go ahead. I won't stop you. Uh, As you continue sailing down, you start to see... You start to see your... your The ship that you wish to invade and view. As you continue to go farther and farther, you see that the ship is currently occupied. There are oh. people aboard the ship. Oh boy. Are you that surprised, man? I mean... Not really. I was kind of hoping there weren't going to be anyone there how for I, some reason. How do I... How do I turn a ship again? Like, how do I turn... Oh, there we go. What side is the ship... Are we approaching the ship from? Give me a second. Well, I thought you'd be like, we're approaching from blah blah blah. I mean, the front um, the you're cur you're currently approaching on the ship's left side. It does not suspect you as an enemy right now. Give me one second. I need to place yeah, everyone's fucking minis. We are waving around the white flag, so we don't currently have any pirate flags up, so pretty neutral. If we survive this, we gotta make a flag. You want to make the flag? I said, if we survive this, we gotta make the flag. You expect us to die right away. Oh, wait, I just realized I had to roll for my event that, that actually haunts me, and I just never did, and I just created my own. That's yeah. whatever. That's the ball of D&D. &D. You can do basically whatever. You didn't have to roll second. to create your own schizophrenic event. <laughs> Schizophrenia moment.
As the ship is coming closer and closer, you guys begin to feel a sense of adrenaline rush towards your body. What do you wish to do until before the ship arrives? Cry. No, not cry. No. <laughs> Please get on the cannon. Please get on a cannon and get ready to fire. If we're gonna take this thing down, we gotta be- No, okay. That doesn't so mean alert you... them to our position, Tim! I what see side the ship. The, uh, what side is the enemy ship on? We're approaching- The, the enemy, enemy ship, ship is currently on, on your- is going to be appearing on your left. Alright, you uh, please Tim? get the weapons on the port side ready to go, yes? I thought I'd be stern side this time. It's no, it'd be port. Port is left, starboard is right. Uh, Stern is back, bow is north front. North or south, motherfucker? Which way? I can't. North, okay. motherfucker. Okay. Left or right? All right, the left side left. of the ship. Left side. I can't move my character, so it doesn't matter. Port is left, but I might be wrong about that. I don't remember. Um, arbiters. Uh, Griffin is saying you can use his character for now. I don't know, I kind of like uh, Sai's rendition of him being just crazed. I, I, I think that's really funny. I, <laughs> I think we it. should I think we should tell him that's now he has to play his character like that or else we execute him on the spot. He's just some stowaway. He didn't even pay for the contract. I'm not paying him. Exactly. You know what? Yeah, we should not pay this guy. Isn't this literally his ship? No. no. He's no, not the it's fucking. It's... We were given this yeah. by Smuggler's Den. Yeah, no, he didn't. He, he, hit ship. he just, he just wants to be the captain, and because he's not, he's freaking out in the bed, I'm pretty sure. Oh. My you guys currently now. start moving closer and closer towards the ship as you begin to see it. The ship is definitely much bigger than yours. Seems to be a little bit more armored, it and is. as far as weapons go, is unknown. I mean, now I reach towards the side I of the ship where you may see it. Where's my character? Alright, um, before everyone does anything, all of you, uh... Actually, yeah, they, they do not suspect you for now, so do not roll initiative just yet. <laughs> you forgot this about my raven. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, we have an advantage right now because our ship is smaller. They have no cannons at the bottom levels, and they're only at the top, and they can only hit our uh, masts. That's so, so in other true. Words, perfectly fine. This is so unfair. We're gonna kick their yes, ass. Yes, but do keep in mind one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at least on the top. Nine enemies. Okay, that means they have four actions over us. Yes. Now, do you remember, you guys also do, if you do hit the ship with your cannons, you run the risk of possibly destroying cargo. If we're able to, uh, let's target their cannons themselves, make them defenseless. Potentially even hitting their uh, mass or their driver. I don't know if we can hit the driver from here, though, is the issue. Doesn't look like I it. I don't think their cannons are going to be the biggest of threats. Remind it's me what everyone is playing for a class, because I forgot. I, I'm a necromancer. <laughs> Artificer. Ranger. Okay. And I'm proficient in bows. I can tell by the bow you're holding. Uh, for now, Griffin's character will not... I Just to make things easy right now, Griffin's character will not be here. He's he just going to be hiding asleep. in the captain's quarters. <laughs> no, he's just standing in a corner you going, can... I'm the captain. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. <laughs> All right, what do you guys wish to do? Significantly out. I'm the hell was screaming at the enemy. I am the captain. <laughs> so do is that what you wish to just... do? No, that, that was Griff saying that. Oh. As Griffin runs into the captain's quarters, he screams, "I am the captain." Got one of the guards currently, one of the guards currently, pokes over and starts walking towards the edge of the ship. Boy, that. Are you in need of assistance? Do we just fucking pull the trigger on all our cannons on the left side and just fucking haymaker the shit? Well, we could play it safe and see if they'll let us on board. We could say we have an injured one. The one who's screaming, I'm a captain. I don't trust them filthy pirates. Where, where are the pirates? Yeah, what? I don't trust them filthy. 
uh, Brady Schultz. Filthy mother. normal people, them yeah. bastards. <laughs> I want to trust them filthy slurs. Oh. Uh. Do we just say we pull the trigger and try to aim for all their cannons? I guess. Why not? So we have three shots, basically, to hit two okay. cannons. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead, and each of you, uh, does a cannon have a hit point? No. It's an item, so no. So we'd have to dub what we want to make it equal to. Well, we could, it, it could end up just being a hit or miss. Right? Oh my it, god. We could say it just has... Cannonballs have a plus six to hit. Range 600 to 2,400, 2,400 feet. That's dumb. One target. Hit 44, 8d10 bludgeoning damage. Holy fucking shit, bro. So it's going to kill whoever's close to one of those. Working around the offices, cannonballs tend to hurt. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, just a little bit. Well then, if that's the case, the cannon I am near, I aim towards the uh, right cannon on their ship, uh, aiming towards the rear, close towards the two guards next to it. You can only pick one target. Oh, you're talking about? Okay, I see which cannon you're talking about. Yeah, the tar- cannon, I, I and mean, it's right at the back end of it, in the middle between the two guards. Mister Crazy, I was just gonna. Sh- Hold on, you're up there. Never mind, I'm crazy. Speaking of crazy. See, okay. Crazy. You're talking about the one to the your left or right? Right that one. That one. Okay, that one. That's a right. good marker. So I you right launch. Here. Uh I'ma say roll a roll a uh, okay. Roll a D twenty. With no additions? Or no additions. Rolling. I got a seven. Okay. You light the cannonball and you fire it. It whizzes past the cannon and hits part of the ship a little bit. You miss your target. The people on board on the ship start to freak out as they see the ship next to them start to attack. Everyone Sorry, roll for chaps. initiative. <laughs> We're going to have some fun here today. All right, everyone roll initiative. How do I roll it? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start it like this. Um, did anybody roll uh, twenty or above? I rolled a four, so I'm going last. You rolled a nat one, bro. You're, (laughs) I think you hit your turn skip. Oh, did Uh, anybody roll twenty above twenty or twenty? Let's get rid of that fucking dice. That guy yeeted. Um, how about? How about 20 to 25? Wait, where are we rolling at? No, I'm sorry, how about 20 to 15? Initiative. Oh, okay, okay so I, I got a 10. I got a I five. think all, yeah, all of us got below 10. I got 11, sorry. Or, or, also, right. Arbiter, you're not in our game anymore. I know, I'm trying to He, he keeps here. popping in and out. Okay, I um, to make okay so me. nobody rolled 20 to 15? Eleven oh, no. and lower is everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, how about fifteen to eleven? No. Did uh, well, I hear what I just 11. said? Eleven and lower. That's all of us. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out the order Arbiter, of which everyone's okay. going. Arbiter. Arbiter rolled what? Eleven. eleven. Okay. Um, now 10 to 8. 8 to 5. I got a 7. I had a 5. I had 4. And not 1 4. 8. Um, I want to say, so it would be the highest dexterity would go first, right? Well, it's dex plus... What's your dex ice? Yes. Huh? My dex is 17. What's your... Okay. Mine's 18. Alright, so the current order is it's going to be Arbiter, Tunk, Crazy, Ice, and then me. 
Oh, okay. All right. The boat is close enough to where I will allow you guys to, if you can spend an action, to hook onto their ship and get on board. What do you wish to do? Arbiter. I wish to load in. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not in game yet. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's wait until Arbiter gets here. I'm sitting at the main island, staring at the boat. Oh, oh, you need to be oh, brought. You need to transfer him. Yes. Sorry, man. You should tell me. And, and while we're, uh, you forgot to spawn my raven. Oh, sorry about that. You're good. What am I doing here again? Uh, where would your raven be exactly? You're attacking, so you have that one action, one right bonus right action, and right. you have your movement speed. I got it. Now you just want to actually go through. Don't be moving anywhere. So you know what? What's his? Uh, what is his? Uh. What is the Raven's, like, initiative? Oh, I would assume that just goes when you go, right? Oh, uh, no, hold on. Let me, uh... Technically, no, but he could do it that way. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just make it to where your make Raven will move. Your Raven, you can use your Raven as its own character on your turn, okay? Okay. Make it easier. Okay. Cool. Alright, Abra. Are these cannons loaded? Bez. Oh. All right, cool. Um, I would like to blast the cannon on the left. Okay. Uh, roll a one d twenty. I'm time to pull up the dice. Time to pull up. You said one d twenty. Here it is. Yep. Pull to everybody. Fourteen. Oh, let's go. Fourteen. Fourteen. You fire the cannon as it flails. Uh, you light the fuse on the cannon, and a huge boom hits. And the cannon rocks back slightly as the cannonball hurls towards the other ship. It hits towards the other cannon as debris of both metal and wood fly from it. The guards on the current boats start to scream and start to command towards each other. <clears throat> that debris uh, do you wish to do anything else for your turn? I'd like to reload my cannon. Uh, that takes an action. You cannot do that. Don't I have a... Didn't you just say I have, like, an action and a bonus action? You have an action and a bonus action. Loading your cannon so, would have to take another action. Bonus yeah. actions bonus are action. a... Like, a small part, like, reloading. Typically, like, pistols, arrows, stuff like that. Or if a spell takes as a bonus action, you can also do that as well. My hunter's mark spell I can use as a bonus action. Yeah. Do I even have any spells that would count as a bonus action? If you it go would tell you. Beyond, go to actions and click on bonus action. It tells you everything that's a bonus action. Where did it say bonus action? Actions so and then yeah. bonus actions. Yeah. So, and there's a subcategory bonus action. Oh, okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Two weapon fighting. So nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Yep. Yeah. So that ends your turn. Weapon fighting. Do you want to move before? Do you want to move before you do anything, or do you want to stay at the candle? I think I'll be fine here. All right. Um. Next up is Tunk. Tunk, what would you like to do? Fire the cannon. You already fired your cannon. The cannon has no cannonball. I did. Which you're the not. first one. To... No. Oh that no! Was crazy, crazy was the first one first. To fire. Crazy I see, say. my bad. Uh, crazy, Tug, where would you like to fire your cannon? Uh, is the one, like, straight ahead of me, the one with the guards, is that one still in place? Or... Yes, yeah, that yeah, one's still operational. Down a fucking shoot yeah. that bitch. And it's just understand. Yeah, uh, roll a d20. I'm gonna shoot that zone bitch. Their two main cannons are fine. I'm just gonna expect them to board me. I got an A. As you light the cannon and fuse it, the cannonball whirs past the ship. You overarched it. I should get eyes. How did you overarch that shit? It's right in front of you, dog. Daisy, <laughs> Daisy. I'm sorry. That's it. I can't. I, I can only move, and I. I don't think I wanna. Okay, I will. Okay, I will say this instead. Um, it will not take human action to get onto the ship, but your movement will take all of your movement getting onto the ship. That's what I will say. Okay. Right now, I do definitely don't want to get on the ship just to die because I used my action already. <laughs> Shit rocked. Yeah. Yeah. Next up is uh, is that it? 
Yeah, that's nah, it. it's me, bro. Uh, now it's crazy. You know, though, we still have two people taking their turns. Uh. I am taking my turn now. Um, <laughs> laser <laughs> beam. Do I still have my action since I technically started the encounter? Yes, you still have your action. Okay. Um, then. Fucking, I'm not on there. You should I'd like to use um, my. Do I have collections of my books here? Give me one second. Let me go ahead and check your sources. Um, do I have access to. Hey, Give me one moment, my friend. Eh? Give me one moment, Joe. Oh, I should have. Instead of aiming for the cannon, I probably should have aimed for like the big sail. Is that... there anything on the monster manual for guards or humans, or do I have to make all those up myself? Uh, there's some. Default for civilians, um, and there are default for like guards or knights. Okay, where would that be under? Uh, I don't know about the. I'm sending it to you. Um, the DM monster manual. But... Is it in the monster manual? Or... No. Here you go. There's a guard. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, which one do you want to hit, Crazy? This one. Okay. Go ahead and roll yourself a d20. Wait, what are you attacking, Crazy? 1d8 plus 4 for my longbow. Oh, no. You need to roll a d20 to see if it'll hit. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Crazy. Crazy, what are you attacking? So in, under your actions, remember under your actions, don't roll a custom die, because that one doesn't take into account any of your actual modifiers. So if you're attacking, let's say with your longbow, if you go under actions, you'll find your longbow. You'll hit, see so hit DC. That's what you want to roll. Oh, there we go. I got an 18. The first one okay. to do anything. Okay. That... Go, go crazy. I did that something. That does hit. Sorry, I forgot. Playing my <laughs> D8. So that does hit, so go ahead and roll for your damage. I got a 10 for damage. Uh, alright. So you take, you take out your bow and you draw it, and you shoot it at the first guard. Plus the, one to Where do you want the arrow to hit? Oh yeah, plus one to that, so 11. Sorry. Okay. Um, how do you want to shoot him? Uh... How do I, I want? <laughs> Where do you want to hit, dog? I want to hit him. Uh, I want to hit him in his shoulder. As you take out the arrow, you take it and you draw it, releasing the arrow as it flies through the through the cold winds going forward. The arrow lands into the man's shoulder with enough force as it knocks him back down onto the ground. Screams there, bleeding and bleeding, but everyone is too focused in the battle to do anything as he sits there, bleeding out. We have killed a yeah. man. Killed First man. death, let's go! Who's, uh, who's going down? I think it's, uh, I can't. I will, I'll do it, hang on. Yeah, that's man. Okay. Arrgh! <laughs> <laughs> I told dudes on the streamer. For my bonus what action, is what? I want to use my, uh... <laughs> I want fucking to psycho! I, kind of it. I can't hear you. Say again, crazy. I said for my bonus action, I want to use Hunter's Mark. Uh, who do you want to use Hunter's Mark on? Him. All right. You does that require a saving throw? Ice for Hunter's Mark. I think Hunter's Mark is just like you Hunt? get a bonus. No, on Hunter's your Mark is the thing. It, it just hits, I believe. Okay. There's no defense against them. Right. The only thing is, is it's, you uh, you cast hour. Hunter's Mark. So right. yeah, you that cast means you Hunter's can't... Mark for ten turns. Yeah, if it's a concentration, that means you can't have any other concentrations, otherwise you lose it. 
And if you are hit, uh, you have and to if he roll is hit. a saving throw for that concentration. So now whenever okay. I do right. an attack on him, I roll an extra d6. Um, so now it is your bird's turn. What do you want to do with your bird? Bird. Damn. Um, what can my bird do? Fly. Uh, your bird can fly. I think it can attack. Need some food. Yeah, but it has like a peck. Um, my bird's going to fly over to said same guard that I was just talking about and peck him. <laughs> Say, you're probably just like um, you do not have enough. You do not have enough. Uh, Movement. you don't have enough distance to go there. Ah. You can all of your distance is from this ship to this ship. Um, then he will. So you just right be right there. there. Your fine. bird's about to get fucking deleted. All right, your bird flies over and lands on the side of the ship. All right, Ice, it's your turn. Um. I do not have a cannon, but I do have. I we have no need to paint. ram us into the enemy. We're, what? No. <laughs> um, I'm going to use uh, magic missile against the bird. <laughs> uh, you're mark that guy. This dingus right here. Yep. Okay. That and that uh, that that doesn't that doesn't require you to roll. That just hits automatically, correct? Yes. And so I roll. Uh, Are you using a level times. one, level two? Um, I only have access. Oh no, I could roll a level two, huh? No, I can't. I don't have access to level two spells, so it doesn't matter. So you just have level one. So okay. Level one. Yep. So that's three. Three darts, so that's three rolls. And what are they? D what's? Uh, D fours. One D four plus okay, one. Four. So I got a five. A two. And a four. So you do ten points of damage. Laser beam. You. <laughs> you cast a magic missile onto the knight. It hits him, but he... It hits him, and you see him noticeably take the punches, but he shrugs it off, getting ready in a guard position. Get shot, ya bitch. Alright, uh, anything else you want to do? Um, no, I guess I'll stick on the... No point in me moving. I'm driving the boat. So. All right. My turn. Oh boy. My turn. He has quite a lot of actions to do. This. These two will expend all of their movement speed to enter on towards the ship over here. Hi. The two guards over here will draw their bows. One will attack... Tunk, and the other one will attack... Crazy. Um, okay, let me see here. Uh, four plus. How Does a 13 hit crazy? Crazy. Damn, crazy. Good luck, Chief. Huh? Uh, how can you tell how far Crazy. Does a 13 hit? Ruler. How do I tell if it hits? What's your, your AC? Uh, your armor class. Uh, 16. So no. So no. Okay, so it does not hit. The arrow flies past you. Um, the guard, now the guard is going to attack, uh, the guard, this guard, how do I, this guard right here, how do I, how do you do that? M. N? M, yep. Oh, M. 
Jesus and then there. All right, so now this guard will attack Tunk. One across the way on the cannon? A, what is a... What does a 16 do for you? Uh, the Against hit, two. it misses. What is your AC? A 17. Damn! The <laughs> guard will then... <laughs> the, the guard takes his bow, fires, and it misses you completely. Damn! Now these two... These guards really suck! Uh, these two guards are actually right over here, so they are actually in line with Tunk over here, so these two are going to oh try boy. and attack Tunk. Okay. Well, the first guard will attack first. Seven plus three, ten. That's a miss. The guard will take his will take his halberd and he will attempt to ram it right towards you. He misses and instead he accidentally clashes with the uh, with the cannon, dealing no damage. The knight will take out his great sword and he will sling. He will take it with both hands and he will swing downwards at you. Ooh. That's an actual uh -oh. noise. Uh, <laughs> 22. Yeah. Oh, so it will hit. Was that a crit? No. Oh, okay. okay. Um, what is it? 2d6 plus 3. Oh. Oh, boy. 2d6. Where's my d6? What's your normal HP tongue? 27. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was gonna die immediately. We're level Got three guys. Up. What the fuck do you mean? I don't know, man. What are your guys' HP totals? Twenty. Twenty-four. Fifteen. Um, the knight oh will God, do eleven shit, points of damage. The doing? the knight will do eleven points of damage. Oh. Okay, that's a hefty amount. I'm at sixteen HP. Uh, don't worry, Tonka. Oh no! You're at okay. 6 HP? Uh, no, 16. God. Oh, 16. Guys. I thought you said 6. 27 dude, I don't minus know, 11 is I not wasn't six. listening, okay? <laughs> I heard 6 and right. then it got Now scared. it is. Uh, we've now passed one turn. Crazy, you have nine turns left until Hunter's Mark is. Uh, your concentration is done. It is um, now Arbiter's turn what? to attack. Isn't, it, isn't your concentration spell for an hour? An hour, it would be ten turns, no? Or... Or no I... Yeah, an hour is ten turns, isn't it? No, or it's either well, ten or a hundred. One turn is like five or six seconds or some shit like that. Oh shit! Um, never mind, then you're good, crazy. By the long is one turn. Yeah, one turn is six seconds. So ten. Ooh. 10 turns. Oh. That was right. <laughs> what are you trying to do, Arbiter? Uh, Death, uh, do me a favor. I'd like to use Wither and Blue. By the what? What are you doing? I'd like to cast Wither and Bloom. Wither and Bloom. Wither and Bloom? Your... Uh, give me one second. Okay. Um, what do I need to roll? I think I need to roll Constitution saving throws for both of these. Constitution saving throws, you're trying to beat, uh, 12, I think it is. Constitution, there's going to be a plus one. One moment. Uh, yeah. 7 will not save. <laughs> um, they both will take full damage. Right, um, right, cool. No, I just 2d6. Yep, 2d6. Where is d6? There she is. Roll. Why is this guy leading? Alright, I'm back. Huh? I'm back. I had to. Why is this guy leading? What I miss? I've dealt 8 damage to both of those goons on the, on the front of our ship. 8 no, damage fucking... to both? Dude, okay. they're boogieing. One of them was boogieing. I saw it. One of them was boogie. <laughs> um, okay. 
He was moving. Why did the, the bottom, one of the knights move? Okay. Just so getting your shit rocked. Took. Alright. Well, you said eight points of damage, right? You're to each one. And I choose to do that just for a little bit of cool, you know, in game magic and shit. <laughs> Then Tonk rolls a d20 plus sure. two. Death, you should totally allow me to attack that knight. With what? You already casted your action. No, I no, I get that, but like, let me do it for like the animation and shit. Hey, you can do that. Let's go. Give me a second. I'm doing it to both of those guys. Let's go. Now I hit the other guy with a green laser. Green. Alright, I'm happy. Um, so, the guard obviously takes a bit of damage. He is currently, he looks exhausted as he's holding this halberd. The knight, once again, shrugs off the damage and he is holding his weapon in a guard position, hands in front of him, forward. The knight looks angry. <laughs> How much health okay. do these guys uh, have? Arbor, does that conclude your turn? I mean, I just have to heal Tonkin and then, yeah. I roll a d8, uh, right? Or a d10, because I'm a d20. fighter. D20. D20 for heals? Damn, what the fuck? D20 no plus addition? 2, because it's technically uh, plus 2. Okay. Um, It is technically a Seven. short rest that you're taking. So, is that 7 plus 2? I know, that's 7 points. So, add 7 points to yourself. Yep, I'm doing that right now. My dog is yelling outside. It, it does that, and then, so, uh, whatever you roll, it's going to be a that plus my spell casting ability modifier, yeah. whatever that. Mm -hmm. 2, which I thought it was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, spell casting is 2. Wish I could... No, uh, no, poop. What? I too wish to poop. So what? How the fuck? Alright, whose turn is it next? Man, uh, does that conclude your turn? Yep. Oh my god, he's fucking talking. Oh, I apparently I am, even though I'm not. There's somebody in your background. Yeah, they're fucking outside, so I have no idea what how they're coming through. One second. Um, but like in Discord. Okay. Yeah, it was um, Discord. So armor that concludes your turn. Yep. Um, Ignore that. I was now it is tungsten. Okay. So when you said this, one of them is guard in a guarded position. Hi. Yeah, in a bit. Can you? Okay. Yeah, I can hear that. I just did you not listen at all to what I said? Yeah. Keep me and cry. Close the door. Yeah. <laughs> Close the door, not slightly shut it. This is all in character, right? <laughs> yes, I have voices in my head. <laughs> um, oh, you said they, you just right, said, uh, the night character, yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so is it this one, or is it uh, no, the, the other one? the one that looks like a knight. No, the I'm knight not is the one currently that in a ready was... position. He's in ready. Are you doing that for flavor, or is that like an actual for flavor okay i wanted to make sure can i reach this knight here with my sword if i stab him uh you might need to move a bit closer but yeah okay and i wouldn't be coming out of this guy's range no actually actually no um they stabbed me no so. they're both in, yeah no they're both in the same no they're they're in props okay so i'm gonna stab him but i'm also going to use my fucking uh, fighting spirit. Now I get five temp HP, and okay. I get advantage. Okay. Okay. In one second, I'm also looking at something else. Does that cost a bonus action for you to use that? What? Uh, it. Did it... it does... Probably. It, it doesn't say at any action. It just says as a oh as a bonus action. It was literally the first fucking word. How did I not read that? 
<laughs> to the best of us. Okay, right, so you cast second. a bonus action on yourself. Yep. You gain five temp HP. Yeah. Um, and then you just want to do a slashing attack on him. Yeah. One second. I'm 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 breathing. I I remember what does two open fighting do again? Okay. That's also a bonus. Okay. Never mind. Wait. Hold on. Really? Wait. That's a two open fight. Oh, I fucking meant to grab great weapon fighting. Fuck. I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, uh, I'll do deal with that later. So I get advantage, so I'm just gonna... Wobble little. 24. Yeah, 17, yeah it, it guaranteed hits. I'm gonna roll again just to see if it crits. The same roll again, okay. Or no, different roll. So 24, I'm assuming that hits on the so night. So it does hit, yes. Okay. Okay, 2d6 plus 5. I threw it into the bottomless pit of the ocean. It does eight. Eight damage. Eight slashing. So actually. you take your. How do you want to? How do you want to attack him? Uh. This isn't killing him, right? No. No. Okay. Just, just slash when him you're across as word of reference for. Okay. As word of reference, describe how you're attacking. Just so then I don't have to keep on asking. <laughs> okay. You take your sword and you slash him across the stomach. It, do you... So it Sion, doesn't pierce the armor, but it does hit him. Sign, do you uh, mind if I go into my things and change my uh my fighting because I have it as um what is it called? What yes, I do mind because okay. we I put the wrong one in. I get I gave myself two weapon fighting, which is when you're dual wielding. I meant mm -hmm. to give myself great weapon fighting. We'll talk about it after session. Okay. Um. So you take your sword and you hit him across the stomach. It bounces off the armor, but it does dent the armor inside of him. Okay, does I'm not going to surge. He takes the blade with his hand and he points it at you now. Oh. Well, you guys are more turn. than... I'm not going to tell you what the health... I'm not going to tell you what the health of the people are, but you can use like a perception and look at them. And I will tell you, and I will describe to you if they're damn like how damaged they are. But I won't tell you. You don't know their AC. You don't know their health. Okay. All right. Um. That ends your turn. Now it is Crazy's turn and the bird. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to attack this man right here, who has the hunter's mark on him currently. Okay. You With want Nemo. to go ahead and roll your d20? Yes, doing so as my game goes by the Scion, scratch what I said, I do have great uh, weapon fighting. Two weapon uh, fighting is not okay. in uh, action. 14. I'm a stupid ass. So 14? Mm hmm. Uh, you miss. Sad. Big sad. You take your arrow and you fight it. And you shoot your arrow, we just pass the guard. Um, now it's your bird's turn. Unless you want to move your character or do anything else. No, I'm happy with where my character's at. Uh, the bird, I'd like hey. to move to this man and peck him. You want to peck him? Peck him. Uh, yes! Peck him in the eyeball, specifically. Okay. You peck the man. Uh, what is that? Just like a what is peck? I I don't know. I'm guessing it's a one d four, but let me check. Um. Yeah, 1d4. But, yep. Okay, rolling... One. one. <laughs> hey, man. You peck the man. You peck the man. The man kind of sees the bird and quivers a little. How does that end your turn? Yes. Fucking okay. bird. Your turn. Uh, does that end your turn, by the way, uh, crazy? Yes. Ice, it is now your turn. We have a bunch of dice on the field. <laughs> I've tried more. 
<laughs> two of them are mine. I'm deleting them now. Sorry. Okay. I don't know where my 2d6 went, but they're somewhere in the pits. <laughs> Magic missile! And who are you attacking? I'm going to attack the knight and the dickhead right next to him. These two guys. I'm going to do yeah. two hits to the knight and one to the other guy. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. So I'm rolling for the knight first. Yes. That's three and three. So six damage. On the knight. knight. Mm -hmm. And then three damage to the other guy. All right. How do you want to... All right. So do you want me to kind of just go along with it or do you want to describe how you get them? Um... Eh, it doesn't really matter to me. If you have something specific so, for if they're going down or staying up, whatever, it's easier for that. So, you cast both hands with magic missile, two of them. You launch them both at the knight. It clashes on the knight's armor as the red mist dissipates. The knight, st the knight steadily stands fast. He now turns his attention mm -hmm. towards you as he raises his sword up in the guard position above his head. The other missile that you cast, you flail towards the guardsman as a projectile straight through his chest. A great burning hole straight through the middle of him as he falls onto the onto the dock of your boat. Aha! You wish that what are you gonna do, Mr. Knight? You can't even come up here to kill me. You're gonna just stand there and end up dying. How? Pitiful. Very. Alright. Is that end your turn? Um... I don't think I have a bonus action. No, I do not. So, yes. That ends my turn. Yes, but we stab. Well, that's the end of my turn. Assuming you're fucking texting. God damn. <laughs> Hines? No, it's my fan. The two archers over here both look towards. One archer will attack crazy. One archer will attack ice. The knight will now move here. And he will attack Arbiter. So oh no. The blue quickly. So it's a deep 20 points. Six. Whatever you're doing, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Do it. <laughs> I'll fight you, don't do it. He just okay. gave up on that stabbing that me. Uh oh. Now we can go get these bug breaches. That's Caitlin. See, see, see where I'm pointing? That's, that's Caitlin right there. And that there is Jacob. Uh, that's an at 20 on crazy. So that's Caitlin damage. died right there. You see? You see where I'm pointing at? Uh, what is the most? Are you serious? 1d8. 1d8? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, crazy, you take 14 points of damage. Nice. What the fuck? Ah. Ha. Hmm. It's kind of crazy that somehow I have the most HP out of everyone here. Um, one will attack ice with a d20. I'm really starting to think we bit off more than we can chew. Um, oh, well, tomato, tomato. Ice, does a 12 hit? No. I have 15 uh, AC for re uh, reference. The arrow flies past you. The knight will now use... Uh, the knight will... 
He uses great sword on Mr. Benedict. Do not. So I would roll my <laughs> Do not. <laughs> um. Does a sixteen hit you, Arbiter? Probably. What's your you. armor class? What's your AC? Bold of you to assume I have armor. Eleven. His AC oh, is on. Um, yes, it does hit. Oh, no, no, so bro. It's a 2D6. Right? Do not it's a 2D6. Do not hit. Do not It is a 2D6 plus 3. Plus what? Um, what is a VI? VI is 6, right? Hmm. Yeah. All I know is uh, Arbiter. 12 points of damage to Arbiter. Oh boy. Uh, I'm sorry, 20 12. 12. 12? Okay. Okay. I thought you said 20. So you got 8 HP no, left no. there, Chief. 8 HP. I can. He'll be fine. I can. Alright. Um. Does the knight have a bonus action? No, he does not. Okay. That will. Most of the people, uh, the one person that attacked, the one, uh, the one person that attacked, uh, Fair. that the bird attacked, he takes there and he kicks the bird with his foot. What a kicking. No, that's just rude. Kick does too damage. He's trying to kick a bird. Uh, which is a one d, which is a one d four attack. And he's trying oh. to break your AC. What is, what is the bird? What is a bird's AC? He don't know. Probably low as fuck. Let me check. Three and D crow AC. Um, armor class is twelve. It's, it's more than fucking arbiter. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, okay. how much health does the crow have? Uh, technically, crazy needs to roll a one d four minus one to decide. Uh, one d four. Crazy, roll that real quickly. Mm -hmm. One d four minus one. It's one. <laughs> so let's it has just go. One basic... Yeah. <laughs> so if you hit here, it's dead. The man kicks the crow as it snaps its neck. The crow is Jesus. dead. Jesus. Uh, that ends my turn. You can get a new crow, it's fine. So now there it is... Uh, you now son of a bitch! Crow. How fucking dare you kick the crow! <laughs> Murder that man! Right there, kill him! Funny thing... <laughs> We're now killing the commoners now? Well, that's not a commoner. I think it's this guy, right? Let's kill them. Yeah, it was supposed to be that guy. Yeah, so he's not a commoner. He's a uh, uh, knight. The commoner's just. No, the guy who him. killed the bird. The guy who killed the bird is a commoner. The knight is on the ship with you guys right now. No, no well, there's still this guy right here. Right? This That's is who he attacked? I think we forgot to move the bird. This yes. is who I attacked. Oh, that's yeah, who you that's, attacked. That's not a. That's not a commoner. <laughs> oh. Guard. Um, that's if that's the case, then, uh, the bird is still alive. The bird is what? still alive. Oh. I thought he attacked a commoner. My bad, my bad, my bad. No. Uh, scratch that. The bird is alive. Okay. Is... Yippee! Arbiter, Yippee! it is your turn. Take what? back what I just I... said. Fuck you. You ain't killed no move. goddamn crow. Move. I would like to huh? use Ray of Sickness. On my character, I think there's a disadvantage yeah. because he's so close, correct? Uh, technically, yeah. He's within, he's being um, aggroed right now, so yeah. So that would be 18 for so your first one. Okay. 18. The okay. The second one would be three, so five. So his lowest okay. number is five. So, so, so no, it doesn't does hit. Not hit. Yeah. 
is your disadvantage. You're using a ranged spell on somebody who's right in front of you that casts disadvantage. Because you're technically, uh, uh, you're technically, what's it called? He's... What's the word? Um, he, he's basically aggroed. He's intimidated, yeah. almost. Whatever it's called. Okay. So you try to cast a spell, it misses. Uh, what do you want to do? Can I give him the puppy dog eyes to make him not want to attack me? You can give him the puppy dog eyes, however, the knight does not give a fuck. <laughs> oh no, bro. Um, does that end your turn? Uh, can I run away? You'll get an opportunity. If you run away, he does opportunity, and the guy can hit you for I'll free. I'll help you. Don't worry, I got you, Arbiter. Don't worry. Well, how's he gonna got do you. that if I'm running? Because you're running so, out so of So, you're, then... if you're within five feet of an enemy and you run away from them, or you run past them within five feet, they have an opportunity attack against you for free. So they would roll to break your AC like they normally would, and if they hit, then they do damage to you. Wow. So get away from an enemy if you're not a um, uh, what's it called? Thief, archer, okay. or stealth class. You know, uh, you have to use an action to disengage from them, uh, so they don't have that opportunity attack against you. Don't worry, I got you, Arbiter. I'll help you. Thank you. So, oh, do you want to run or do you want to stay? If I run, I risk just straight up dying here. So yeah, don't run. It's yes. So idea. that ends your turn. Might as well. Right, that ends your turn. Tonk, it is not your turn. Hi, I'm Tonk. Um. Yes, Tonk. Had to. Tunk I had to remind myself. Uh, so yeah, I do have great weapon fighting. I'm just stupid and saw actions in combat to weapon fighting. So I'm gonna try to stab the knight. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So 14. the knight will use a reaction parry, which the knight adds two to its AC against one melee attack. That's that would hit. That is kind of rude. So yeah. what is your what was your roll? Fourteen. Um it wasted a parry. Yeah. Yes, so it parries, you try to stab, it takes its sword and it parries it. The knight is now looking at you with its sword blade pointed towards you. Okay, I'm going to action surge. Okay. And then... I'm gonna do it again. I'm thinking. Because I have a bonus. Okay. I could fighting spirit and give myself advantage. He's thinking about doing it I'm again. I'm not. No, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> 17. 17. Um... It barely misses. Damn. So he has 18 AC then. Yeah, I guess. You attempt to thrust your sword as he parries it one more time. He looks at you, bored. I thought the parry was only one turn. Or when but I that attack. was more of a. That was more for oh, flesh. Okay. Why is he bored? I stabbed him earlier. Um. <laughs> I shot him with fucking lasers. What do you yeah, mean he's dude, bored? What the fuck do you mean? I also hit him with tentacles, so... Yeah, no, this guy's gotten, like, <laughs> fucked up. I don't know why he's bored. Um, Tunk does that... Tunk yeah, does yeah that, that was uh, my turn. Okay. Um, crazy, it is not your turn. Wooey, I want to attack this man again. <laughs> One of these days, Roll that motherfucker's going down, dude. I swear to God. What was that? Roll a d20. Rolling... 10. The arrow passes through him one more time. Are Pass you rolling it? with your hit die? I, I hit the wrong die. Damn it. Hold on. Wrong button. Well, just add whatever your okay. plus number is to that. Oh, then it would have been know. 19. Okay, then it does hit. <laughs> yeah, remember, remember if, if you're using magic, if it doesn't give you the chance for a hit DC, you roll a d20. If you're using melee or like long range like that... Use oh, your hit sure. DC that shows in under your attack. Okay. So Use those because that also adds in your modifiers on top of that. I do a 1D plus 4 course. and then a 1D6 as well for damage. So I got 9 plus... Hold on, where'd it go? 2, so 11. 
All right. How would do you want to? Any specific way you want to shoot him, or in the head? <laughs> you take your arrow, you draw it back, and you fire. The arrow passes through, and it lands straight between the eyes of the guard. The guard falls dead on the floor. Yeah, brother. You could have been a little bit nicer about it, but hey, whatever. I was nice on the last one. Guard is dead. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the dead bodies. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm going to remove my D20. Am I to... Wait, where's my other D20? Oh, it's behind the stairs. It's next um, to the stairs. Now it is your bird's, now it is your bird's turn. My bird. bird is going to pick... <laughs> this man um, roll again. Roll a D20. God, roll a D20 with no modifications. I'm working on it. Bird. Two. Bird. Uh, it, it, it does not hit. The bird <laughs> pecks up the armor. It does nothing. Hey, he's trying, alright? Does that end your turn? Yes. Hey, I've killed hey, two we... people now. Okay, um... <laughs> it is now your turn, Ice. Oh, boy. Um, Arbiter and Tung, do you want me to shoot him? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Uh, we all know what I'm using, boys. A laser magic laser. missile. <laughs> so, magic missile is a spell. How many spell slots do you have? That would be my last spell slot. Okay. I have three total spell slots for my first level. Alright. So, uh, laser so beam. So, you cast magic missile. It is. Little fucker better <laughs> goddamn die with this shit, dude. Two. Four. Oop, come on. Where is my... Four. So, eight damage. So, you fire three missiles at him. It hits his armor. The red smoke dissipates. He's looking a little weakened now, but he still is very angry. Just fucking die, well, well, you I little cunt! not bored anymore. Jesus! <laughs> Alright. Uh, is that the end of your turn? I'm going to move. One, five, ten, fifteen. So I noticed that the. I noticed the music is kind of stopped. Give me one second. Thirty fight. I'm on the stairs. I'm on the stairs. I kind of forgot. Let's liven, let's liven the battles just a little bit more. Give me one second. Actually, I'm going to move. going to be up here. I forgot to do one thing during my turn, and it may end me. You're good. All no right, one's I near you. Myself. What's your HP? All right. Um, <laughs> one. The uh, guard what? is going to. What's your to... HP? One. I took 14 damage right. from the last hit my turn. that I took. Jesus Christ! <laughs> my guard is going to attack the bird. Not the bird. Don't do this. Swings at the bird. bird. He swings at the bird. 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 bird the bird is bird. dead. He swings and he cuts the bird in half. Jesus. Well. Now it's the knight's turn. Cringe. Cringe. The knight turns to look at Tunk, and now he will use... Multi-attack, which he makes two melee attacks. Okay. Oh boy. Which I assume he's going to use his greatsword twice. I hope that'd be weird if he was just punching me. <laughs> um, I assume a... Twenty-four? Twenty-four Jesus hits, Christ. yes. And... Twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. What is Bro's modifier? <laughs> He's probably a CR Red level. Sword is plus five. Two, Red plus Sword is plus five modifier. Dude. Jesus Christ. It's too low yeah, than I got. Damn. He's cheating. <laughs> he's cheating. Um, five, six, Leave it to the AI to so the first one's going to be eight wow. damage. Okay. So that oh, no, takes away my... Oh, it's, I'm sorry, 11, 11 damage. Okay. That takes away my temp HP. I'm at 17 HP now. And another 11 damage. Alright, I am at six. 
almost death. Yeah. We're not gonna talk about almost death. Well, the no, knight scientists... stares. The knight. The knight takes his great sword and slashes downward at you once, taking out its guard. Then he brings it back up again and attacks you on your left side. Okay. Um, that ends my turn. Actually, no, that does not end my turn. The guard over here... The guard will move over here. And now my turn has been ended. Arbiter, it is now your turn. Oh boy. Yippee! Oh, Yippee. what can I... Oh god, what can I do? Survive. I overestimated the bonk him in the head. Night. I do apologize. <laughs> could have bonked him on the head. You know what? You could bonk him on the head. I have mostly fucking raged. Hmm. Um, Somehow there's... you're in the front. Uh, False think... life, fog cloud. You know, those. <laughs> False life seems to be my best option. What are you doing? Actually, wait, I could do Toll the Dead. Do it. You also have, um... Uh -uh. So you have Chill Touch. Wait. I do have chill touch, but Yeah, you I'm have doing. pretty much your only melee thing is an unarmed strike. If you so, want to get away, you can use disengage and then just run for it. That's probably a good idea. By the way, if you have anything that does poison, it does not affect me. Go ham. Well I tried to He's poison. also close as well. He's gonna be intimidated. What do you want to try? You know what? Fuck it, we ball. I'm Do standing up that. front and I'm doing toll of toll the dead. Okay. What is it doing? Toll of the dead? Uh you point at one oh, creature you see within range and the sound of bells fill the air around it for a moment. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take one D eight necrotic damage. If the target is missing any of its hit points and takes 1d12 necrotic damage instead, I don't okay. so think... So I need to do a what saving throw? You oh, need wisdom. to make a wisdom saving throw. Of And you need to be 12. Wisdom is plus zero. Ooh, not one. Oh, she's in. So, so he, he would take. So he needs to roll because he's already missing HP. One d twelve. Arbiter yeah. roll one d twelve. Do I not do the d twenty first? No, this one doesn't require a hit die. The the AC quote unquote is the wisdom saving throw for that particular spell. Oh, okay. Well, how do roll a d12? I got 11. D12. Yeah, he rolled yeah. an 11. Yeah. Ooh, that okay. math works. Um, <laughs> that, that, that math does work. Math doesn't so, do math. <laughs> the math does I'll math. Here. Explain to me how you're doing this. How, how should I react? I don't fucking know. You're the DM. <laughs> well, so... The spell creates spells. spells in the area of your target that ring for a moment. He then fails his saving throw and takes damage via such bells. So you cast the spell in the night. The knight starts looking around with the sword. He's now in a guarded position. His bells ring in his head. He takes one of his hands off his sword and he holds his head tightly as if the ringing is getting louder and louder. As you look at him, he is really hurt. Like, he is exhausted. He is bloody. Good. He is damaged. His armor is dented beyond belief. How this guy have? Holy shit. How many times did we hit him? He has over an 18 AC, I'm pretty sure, or something like that, so... Not a lot. I know what that means. 
He has close to um, 100 HP. No, he does not. Probably 70 to 80. No. Did you just say no? He said no. No. I'm be like, he's, no. he's extremely hurt. Um, Arbiter, is that in your turn? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Not much else I can really do. Okay. Tongue Kid is now your turn. Is this man, like, could you, the way you describe it, is it just flavor, or is he distracted enough to, like, I get advantage on an attack roll against him, or...? That was flavor. He okay. is... He is extremely damaged, but he is still in combo. Well, I'm gonna use Fighting Spirit to give myself another 5 temp HP. And get advantage on my attack, because... I need that. Does that work every once every short rest, or does that work it's on command? three times per long rest, so... Gotcha, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna roll a dice now. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, wow, well, that's gone. <laughs> 19. 19. 19. It's that advantage. Hits. It's advantage, though, so I am gonna roll again. You could try to roll. You could try to roll for a crit. Hold on one second. My character didn't load up for a second when I clicked on it. Why do I have 27 temp HP? Hold on. That's not correct. You're welcome. <laughs> what did you do? Uh. And no, not a crit. But I got a 20, which is higher. The, why the fuck did it all... Not why better, is it better. breaking every time? Oh, my God. Why does it keep giving me 27 HP? I'm rolling damage. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, so that does hit. Uh, okay. How do you wish to do this? Oh, he's dying? Okay, 9. Where's the <laughs> other D6? Did the other D6 not land? Wait, was that a D... That's a D20 on the ground. Oh, it didn't roll. Okay. Just roll your damage. Okay. Roll your damage. All right, I rolled it. Uh, two and six. Okay. Great so, weapon. Oh, does this kill either way? Or okay. Yes. I got this, man. Like how's up? I stick my sword into his stomach, and Gamer I pull it out so his guts fall to the ground like a fish. Okay. So, as I hope you, you know I'm not cleaning that up. Don't worry, I, I will. So as you die. take your, as you take your sword, you thrust it into the knight's abdomen. As he is grabbing the blade, as is slowly impaling his body. The knight. Wow, this is not as I want. The knight's. You cut open small terror in the abdomen as it start falling out from the body. As he's coughing up blood from the mask, he falls to the ground as blood spills onto the boat. Take his armor. Trip him naked. You're bored now, bitch. Um, and yeah. yeah, that's the end of my turn, so. <laughs> you bored yeah. now, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> he does not hear you. He is dead. Um, now it's <laughs> crazy. It's turn. for me. It's for me. It's not for him. It's for me, it's not for him. I want to attack this man. At this um, point, we'll it doesn't look like they have any more fighters, so we can probably just convince the rest of the crew to just give up. There's one more fighter. We have one more oh. here. Which I am attacking. Take him out. That's the rest of the fighters that we see on the top deck. That doesn't mean anything. I uh, got an 11. An 11? It does not hit. You miss wow. again. Sad. Are you adding your modifier with your bow? Yes. Yes. Mine yes. automatically does he it. Is just, just having a bad shit. time. <laughs> he rolled a two. You miss again. Um, do you wish to do anything else? Um, no, because I cannot. I don't think I can heal as a bonus action. Okay. Um, ice is not your turn. Okay. Um, bippity boppity. You're going to fly over? Bink. I'm going to just move there. No, I can't. I can't make that fucking roll, dude. I'm going to use my I have fifty flying this movement. Oh, but like This is called tail spire. Um, it's called tail spire. Is that it? Oh, what do you wish to do, guys? I'm gonna use my lightning launchers from my gauntlets. I'd be lightning launching uh, this whore. He needs to die, he killed my bird. 
24. That does hit. Avenged my bird, Apollo. With 8 damage. Um, so you... How does it work? Do you, like, shoot landing out of your gauntlets, or...? So, I have a gem in my gauntlets that focuses a beam of lightning out to it. And you makes a long-range attack. You the gauntlets, and you essentially strike it at the guard. It hits the guard, and he is now weakened. Um, he is now leaning on his halberd for support. He is very injured. Stay the fuck down! God damn, bro! Just give up! You're not winning this! Alright, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Alright, guard turn. The guard makes his way over to the ship. Brother. And he will now attack with his spear onto... Uh, he will use his spear to attack Tunk. Oh, oh poor Tunk. I have um, 19. Goal. Yeah. Physical dice it's really be nice today, bro. Before. For real. My energy is terrible, except for today. Um, three damage. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Two um, temp HP. It didn't even do my actual turn. damage. The guard ends its turn. Arbiter. Bye, Arbiter. Baby boy. Kill this man. Avenge my bird. Is this the the guy who just got on the ship? He's the guy who killed the bird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I shot him with fucking lightning, and he's still walking around. Arbiter. Arbiter dead. Arbiter I dead. Know. I completely forgot. Oh, Oopsie Daisy. What? You know what? Keep I would like to hit this man with a ray of sickness. Oh boy, here we go again. Um, trust. Okay, so we roll just a d twenty. Let's see. Four. D20 plus four. Eight. Um, eight. So it does not hit. hit. Um, oh, what is that? Another four. level one spell? Here. I don't know. How if, many uh, spell slots does he have? He's got one more spell slot of each now, right? Yeah. I don't know if cantrips count as uh as slots. Cantrips no, do not cantrips count. No, cantrips are infinite spell. uses. In... Okay, then I have two yes. regular spell slots left. Okay, so you have one level one and one level two. No. No, one level two, two level, two level ones. Oh. What does Ad be saying, bro? Well, no, I thought he also used Ray of Sickness last turn, didn't he? No, he used uh, Troll the Dead. No, no, wait. Troll no, wait, the wait, dead. He's right. no wait, he's right, because I used Ray of Sickness twice, and then Wither and Bloom once. No, but you also used Told the Dead last round. Last turn. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'm skipped up. So. Yeah, okay, you used gotcha, Told gotcha. the Dead okay. last turn. So, you cast Rain Sickness, it misses. Really? Oh. Yes. Um, oh, I see. Yo, Ben, you wanna. wanna hit your target dog? I. no. Okay. It kind of feels bad. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay. Um, Arbiter, do you extend your turn? Well, I can't really do a whole lot now, so I might. As you well. could move. I could. He's you know not with. He's not within yeah. range of you, so he doesn't have an opportunity. Got me there. How far can I move? You have thirty um, feet. How far? So click feet? shift and then move yourself five spaces. Five spaces. Yeah, Was it five or six? Six. It's five. That'd be six spaces. Six times five. Okay, so six, and yeah, I'm chilling right here. Um, okay. So now it is crazy turn. Crazy killing. Do what I could not. Did, did, what, how, how's it my turn? I thought it was Tim's turn. It's Tim's. It's it? Tom's turn, my bad. Yippee! Uh, first thing. Do what I could not. 
I will try, although I've used almost, I, I have to use a bonus action in a second win because I do not feel comfortable uh, existing right now. <laughs> so <laughs> Existing win. is not going well. Yeah, existing is not doing good on me, pal. So, oh, there that oh, goes. That is I'm not going to roll any. Two, fucking hell. Two. Two plus three, five. I get five HP back. That's worth something. Baller. I have 14 total HP with my uh, thing accounted for, and this guy, he's in my range, right? I can hit him? This this fucker? This guy down here that boarded the ship? Uh, no. Yes? Well, yeah, he is. Yeah, okay. he, is he, he within five? He's within five. Okay. So obviously, I uh, try to stab this motherfucker. Whee! <laughs> 14. Uh... Miss. Fuck. Uh, like, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. So, oh, crazy turn. I want to uh, hit the man. Fuck. Shit, it's gone. <laughs> hey, roll your d20. 27. Oh! You hit. Finally. <laughs> Golly. This motherfucker be dead. Technically, he would hit. have advantage because of height. 10 damage, well, I'd be hitting no matter what, 10 damage, he's a you dying hero with um, eyes. You could roll you, for a critical 20. How do you want to shoot him? Right between the eyes. You once again While screaming, arrow. avenging Odin. <laughs> you take out your arrow, you land with your bow, right before you release it, you scream for your bird. As you release it, the arrow goes straight through the guard's head. It pierces through the middle of his eyes as it goes straight through his head, piercing his brain and coming out the other side of the head. Okay. There's a gaping hole on the side of the guard. Could any of you have done that sooner? Eh. Finesse. Finesse? Finesse my I ass. I killed Tim and Ben. I am too. He also yes, almost Tim, me. thank you. <laughs> I guess time to board Not the happy, ship. No, shut up. No, uh, we have a in the peak. Combat has now ended at this current moment. Oh, oh, guys. So I guess congratulations, you have won. You have won the. You have won the encounter. I'm going to fly my happy ass across. You fly across. I'm also and you land on the ship. To go across. I'm going to. You also go to the ship. I'm gonna basically yell out to the any surviving members on this I'm show, forward, I'm ship. Forward. To do not resist us. If you do, you will be executed on sight. If you do not wish to die, come towards us slowly with your hands in the air. If you try anything, like I said, you're dead. I walk up to People the, the crew begin to start back. moving their way towards you. Hey, no, come back. No, I want to say hi to you. <laughs> Harvard, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up. I've come to greet you. Hello. Oh. Get away from me, you monster. I'm not a monster. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a coon. I'm a coon. Where are you, Ice? You're over there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to heal myself by using cure wounds on myself. You use cure wounds on yourself. That gives me 4 HP. <laughs> Okay, I'm going back. Do not to stand place. behind me unless you wish to get your head beaten in. Stand next to your friends. Give me a fucking second. I have to move all these characters. <laughs> <laughs> also, you decide which way is behind you. Yeah, well, I turn to look at him. Nope. But yeah, no, stand um, next to your Crazy, make a perception check. Perception check? Which, that'd be a d20, right? Yes. Uh, Whatever perception. Uh, so go into your um, skills and proficiency. Go down per to perception and hit the uh, your modifier, whatever that may be. Actually, no. Um, crazy, you can't see this because your back is turned. I'm going to make a stealth check real quickly. Seven. Jeff, do you care if I... Uh, you hear light footsteps behind you, crazy, as one of the crew members are beyond the ship. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'd 
turn around and look at him and notch an arrow. Okay. You turn around to the person with an arrow drawn. The person is currently standing at you. Just staring at me? Yes, he's just staring at you. Your arrow is notched. Is he where he's currently at, staring at me? Yes, he is staring at you from here. <laughs> and for the love of God, please do that later. What the fuck? Uh, That's not the other ship. I'm literally looking right at you when you're doing this, you gremlin. I can take the body inside. I yell at him to get off the end of the ship, or I will loose this arrow at him. The man is currently still crouched on the beam of the ship. He does not make a he does not make a move. He does not make a sound. I've come to board the other ship. Oi! I said, do not go oh. off the edge of the ship. It seems to me that the water. He does not react. Be... This man wants to die. He's resisting. <laughs> Kill him. Hold on. Kill him. Kill him now. We have warned them already. If they wish to uh, fight back, then let them. Hit my life. Hmm? Nom nom nom. I harvest femur. <laughs> <laughs> Before you can say another word, the man that stands in front of you, his eyes begin to begin to drip a black liquid from his eye sockets. Before you can say another word, the man vanishes in a steam of smoke. Nothing said, nothing done. He is gone. The only trace left was a was a was black liquid that dripped from his sockets that went onto the beam of the ship. Well, not our problem. Let's go. What happened the ship. to the man? <laughs> he disappeared, brother. <laughs> what do you mean he disappeared? He said, uh, nah, -uh, and then left. Black goo dripped from his eyes, and then he vanished into a black mist. Okay. Whatever. Check the rest of the ship for any other survivors, and as well as the cargo that we're looking for. Aye, aye. I want to open doors. The oh, this ladder that I'm conveniently at actually conveniently leads into the <laughs> bottom of the ship. Yes. What about the bodies? Arbiter, were you saying stuff? Because I yeah. didn't see what you were typing. The entire time I was say talking it. about stealing the femur. Okay, then say it. Don't just I, type it. I did twice. You didn't hear me, so I decided to type it four times. You didn't see it. Okay. So, Arbiter, I know uh, my attention is now on you. What do you want to do? <laughs> oh, Nothing. If you type it, I will drown your character. <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen. We can't open these doors, yes. We can't. How yeah, do you want to... Hand. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a fucking so thing in the way. We can get out! This is terrible ship design. How do you open <laughs> doors? Right click, open door. Right click, and you ask, and then, you know. Tim would like to open door. Fuck. Arbiter, how do you want to take the femur? How do you want to take it? Take a femur. Okay. So, who's your god again? <laughs> uh, the guy that really wants me to sag to, like, spill blood on femurs. Okay. Tell you what, Arbiter. I'm gonna give you a knife. I already you have a knife. Acquire, you acquire a small dagger. I already have So one. instead of having an unarmed melee attack, you have a dagger instead. I already had a knife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro, I had to say it like five times. <laughs> You take your knife out and you cut into. You know what? No, 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 no. Doesn't you need like to. This is oh, your you thing right now. Exp you describe to me how you're taking the femur out of the body. Question mark. Where's said cargo? I, I, I pick up the knife. Give me one second, crazy. I, I pick up the knife, right? I grab him by the foot. Mm -hmm. And I cut off his foot, right? 
Jesus. Right? You <laughs> take the knife and you cut the foot off. Yes. Now, now hear me out, right? After that, I harvest the femur. Ow. Do you want to describe how you harvest it, or do you just harvest it? Do you want me to go into extensive detail? You can if you want to. Because I don't know the exact, uh, the exact, uh, you know, process of taking a femur. But you my don't? character obviously does. Skin. Okay. Skin and then leg. You, yeah. you harvest the femur. You now have a fever. A femur. Fever. <laughs> well, great. Now I have a femur and a fever. Thanks, man. I'll be sick. Man. That ray of sickness bad. really fucked you up that hard. Oh, I found the egg shirt. I got out of it. Uh, it backfired greatly, I must admit. Where is um, my... Where are you guys? Very what do you want? Deck. What do you want, what do you want about... What do you want um, about make body? a perception check. Let's make throw it into the water. Cool, let me... Ding. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, I got a natural 20. Damn, okay. You find many cases, many... You find many cases of different types of food. Um, there's food, wine, drink. A small section of the corner, you find ten cases of the wine you were looking for. I pick up one of the cases. You pick up a case. Woo. I am now going to slowly make my way up to the tank. <laughs> You make your. <laughs> you can just drag your character up there. I'm not gonna make you just. Well, I, I can't. Up. See. So yeah, no, it's a really hard to move around down there. Um, you pick what? up the case and then you take it with you. Cool. That baby, I see you. Okay, good. character, work with me, please. Okay, we're going out. Um. Yes. Ah. Bro, be struggling right now. Brother increased. Oh, I'm here. Hello. Sh sh fucking. The other sailors on the boat start to beg. I need you. What the fuck are you talking the about? The other sailors Bad begin to agitate. Uh. Begin to agitate as they do not want to be harmed. They are confused. They are shocked. Some of them are never have seen combat before, so they are a little bit more scared of you all. Don't worry, I'll give them the puppy dog eyes. I've already told you once, and I guess I'll have to tell you again. If you don't do anything, you won't be harmed. But if you keep fidgeting around, I will have to tie you up to the fucking pole. And potentially kill you. you. Do not do anything to make me attack you. One second, Robert. Hey, sir, we are just simple sailors. Oh, we we need this food. To, we need this food to get paid. We you have families knocking on it. Well, that sucks. We need something of yours to get paid as well. Now shut up and sit Kinda. down. Just take what you want. Just don't hurt us, please. We, were we have families back in Okinawa. Like I said, we won't if you don't do anything suspicious. Now don't move. Birdman, I think these uh. people aren't smart. No, they aren't. If they keep uh -oh. fidgeting, tie them. What? I don't know how to tie a knot. What do you mean Where you don't I... know how to tie a knot? You're literally on a boat! What is that? Are you literally ends the match! Uh, who needed... who needed... who needed me? Hmm? I thought somebody checked for me. Okay, never mind. keep going. No. <laughs> Arbiter. Fine, it was Arbiter. Arbiter does. Oh, babe, I need you. What do you need? I'd like to, uh, to harvest the armor off of their uh, corpses and then toss their bodies in the water. Bruh. You notice that there is significant damage to the knight's armor. Um, no way been... he's gonna give us plate, bro. <laughs> he got uh, lasered like five times, bro. That too. Bro. Most of the armor on most of the peoples are extremely damaged and is not fine. There is gash marks, there is dents, there are many many wounds. The armor would be useless in your hands. We'll buff right up. But what about our artificer's hands? It could potentially be used for something later. We could also just I'm find a bunch of different... We could kill a lot of people with plate armor. And then make a full suit of plate eventually. Uh, for now I'm gonna say no. You do not find anything of use on the bodies. Can I at least take the useless armor? 
You take the use of armor. Cool, thank you. Not Do you take just the knights, or you take all of it? All the armor from all of the guards. I'm taking every single bit of armor. You are over encumbered. That's fine. <laughs> Bro, be fat. That's fine. I plan on dumping it downstairs either way. What is it, Feral? Uh, I found all the uh, wine boxes. Uh, the contract is actually wrong. There's ten cases, not five. And we only well, need let's... to bring one. Let's bring all of them up. We'll start transporting over to our ship. If there's anything else down there, let's grab it as well. Multiple if of cases use. of food. Do we need to take what you need and please we just need to get the shipment to Akinata. Quiet. I already told you once, I will not tell you again. Be quiet. I'll tell you again. Ban, how can you even hear as you gremlin? <laughs> well, we stated we stated uh, earlier that we can hear each other and see each other. So That's It'd be weird if you couldn't see us. One of us glows, one of us has wings, and one of us has like a fuck ton of weapons on them. So I mean... And I'm wearing I can, uh, I can start transferring yeah. the um, bottles over by flying. If you guys want to start bringing them up here. Alright. Oh, lovely. Cyan, so, I, I have a question. Are you going to make me. us into, like go down and come back up? No, <laughs> you can just say you go down okay. and pick up a case. Thank god! Okay. <laughs> Are we doing all ten? Yes. Well, Might nine because well. I brought one up with me. Yeah. <laughs> so right. just okay. So you guys are bringing up all at all. All, oh. all, yes, everything. You, apparently. both Tim and Feral make their way down to the depths of the boat, grabbing cases of wine and making multiple trips. This takes about fifteen minutes, give or take. As they bring all the cases of the fire wine up to the dock. Oh, shit. Oh, Not anymore. As you begin to sail away, you start making your way back to Smuggler's Outpost. I would uh, Tom King rest begins Sentry's Rest. Okay, thank you. Long rest. Yeah, the rest of you get some rest moment, as well. At the current moment, the day has passed. Um, you had started your day at some other outpost, and most of your time has been sailing. It will take you another day to it will take you another day to reach your destination at some other outpost. Um, do you guys wish to take a long rest? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, do you guys wish to do anything before you take this long rest? Uh, anything in this intermission, or do you guys just want to head straight to some other outpost? Um. I would. I don't have anything. Can I just roll perception while I'm up here, just to see if anything happens? Roll perception. Awesome. I'm gonna drop it. Nice. Nice. Why do I roll good on perception? As you are looking around, you see other ships. You see boat. You see other ships passing by. Islands on your way. But you do notice one ship in particular that looks interesting. Oh. You see another Arcanada warship heading past you. It is off in the distance by quite a bit, about 300 meters, but you can make out that it is a warship from Arcanada. Fuck that. Um, we go to the war. warship is toned with multiple guards, no. knights, and other people that you do not recognize yet. The boat does not see you. Alright. No and it continues then. to sail forward. My job up here is to see if I can get the uh, sea encounters before they happen. So. Hey, Dad, uh, can you give me like a short list on what all our brides managed to snatch? Um, you snatch four sets of chainmail, one plate armor. One set of plate armor, all damaged. Any leg armor, gauntlets? All of it. It's 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 a full set, but it's heavily damaged. It is unusable. All right, cool. So you said three mail and one plate. Four mail, one plate. Four mail, one plate. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Um, do you guys wish to do anything else, or do you guys want to take a long rest and then make your way over to Smuggler's Outpost? 
Uh, I'm good. If you guys are. Uh, I'm like a fucking TF2 sentry. Beep beep. Beep beep. In the captain's quarters, I blow out all the candles so I can uh, pray to my deity. You blow out the candles and you begin to pray. Griffin, uh, I'm sorry, Jeeves looks at you and starts rivaling <laughs> high at the captain here. as he also gets down to pray with you. I forgot he was here. <laughs> you both pray to your goddess. <laughs> Griffin, this god is the captain god. <laughs> oh, no, we're shit. both following uh, Shalkoto. That okay? I didn't. Um, I haven't seen the pantheon, so I don't know who that is. But the I guess we're both pretty like, here. The goddess of the dark. Oh, your bird's dead, by the way. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, no, we. I think we remember that. <laughs> no, I forgot the bird was. Uh, <laughs> I forgot I had the bird spot here. Um, oh, okay. You both bird pretty here. Cut goddess. in half. <laughs> Now you got your next bird. You just gotta go through the whole pantheon of Norse, you know? Yup. You continue to sail on your way to... You continue to sail on your way. You all have been rested. You all have taken a long rest. So you all may now uh, go ahead and... You guys can go ahead and reset all of your health to its original state and reset your spell slots. You will make your way to Smuggler's Outpost. You will make your way to Smuggler's Outpost in the nick of time. You reach the docks where your ship is parked. What do you wish to do? I wish to ask you if the armor is beyond repair. <laughs> it is not. Be it is beyond repair. We moved you. You're on the dock. You're on the dock. Walking away. You could just fly. Are we use your character? Oh. I'm waiting for y'all, actually. I'm walking up the thing. Are you guys just going straight up? Yeah. Oh, you guys are just going for it, huh? We zoom in. Oh. We and zoom I'm... in. Yeah, we all brought craze. Hell yeah. Totally. The bartender stops you all right there. Oi. I'm not supposed to be going up there. It's probably the coldest. Sorry. What do you all need? We got the contract stuff. Where's Where's Captain Bones? Have you seen him? Bone guy. Ah, uh, you have the Captain Bones again. Well then, I'll grab him. You know the rules. Either take a seat and pay your toll, or wait outside. I toss Man, was... this feels like a pyramid hey, scheme. Jesus, oh, a hundred percent is a pyramid scheme. <laughs> They're having us buy contracts and pay to sit down to talk to them. This is a hundred percent a pyramid scheme. The bard slips you all four silver pieces as he recognizes the raccoon as he waves to him once again. Oh! Oh, oh thank you. Arbiter being nice. When Arbiter not oh. drinking. <laughs> when Arbiter doesn't drink, it comes into play. <laughs> the guy smile. Like a smile. I bow down to him a little bit. <laughs> the little fucking little goofy little cat smile pop up for a second. Oh, oh, oh we're, we're have it last a bit longer. There we go. Yeah, I tossed the <laughs> silver piece onto the table. You toss the silver piece onto the table. I do the same. I'll sew silver onto the table. What are we doing? Paying for our shit. Oh, oh yeah, we're paying for another drink, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I'm paying for so... a chair. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay for another So, yeah, drink so drink how restaurant there. business usually works is that sometimes the restaurants will make you pay for, like, the table, even if you're not ordering anything, because they need to make money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I bought the chair. It's mine now. I casually chug down my drink and slam the mug you on the table. You chug your drink. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw to see if you get drunk. Woo. Let's -a go. Where's my wisdom? Wait, no. Would it be a wisdom or constitution? Make a con saving throw. Okay. Let me find sense. my... Twelve. 
you are you're a little tipsy, but you're not super drunk. I would like to hand my beer to the to the bard again. The bard smiles and takes the drink. He chugs it and then he tosses the cup away as he continues to play his loot and he lances another smile at you. Hell yeah. We're gonna kill this bard with alcoholism slowly. That's the goal of the campaign. I casually look at Tim makes his way back. Arbiter is about to get fucking laid, dude. I'm calling it now. Captain Bones makes his way over towards you, making the same <laughs> battle and planes as he makes his way towards you. He has his cutlass in his one hand as he's cleaning it before he sheets it, and he opens his arms up <laughs> wide and it. Friends, you've made it. Look. I cannot. I must say that I am proud to see you all here. <laughs> and look at this. You <laughs> brought the, the fire line that I have asked for. The contract is fulfilled. That was the contract, correct? Five cases of fire wine. Right. Actually, you only wanted one case. We just Did brought I extra. Asked for five. The contract says five. Pretty sure the contract doesn't, but sure. You can read the contract right now. It says that there's five cases of fire wine that is needed. No, it's at eight cases of red fire. It's at five. Wine. You said one. By tens of thousands of you said five. I mean, I have I a recording. And we, uh, multiple people in here are pretty sure are recording, so we can't just go back and look what you actually fucking said. It doesn't matter right now. <laughs> and I noted it down at the time so I wouldn't forget. Did I say one? You, you might have said one. A case of fire wine. Dets is over here trying to guess, like, you guys in character, and you guys are just like, well, we got the recording, so. <laughs> But like we have it literally written down on the page, which would have said one based off of what was read to us, or what we read from it. So, then again, this was four hours ago. <laughs> As I state, you said a case. Well then, a very well then. Oh, we will happily take the other cases of fire wine if you wish to donate them to the pub. In return. I will make sure that you do not have to pay for your table here again. Oh, guys, we went up a level on the pyramid scheme. Now we just need to get some new people to come in under us. However, I'm very curious if you have more fire wine that is currently within the ship itself. It wants help with sales within our lovely bar here. in the chat even if we did have more fire wine what would we get out of it well considering that you are new here you would definitely gain more standing within the smugglers that is of course if you are feeling that I understand if you want to keep it for yourself after all victory does not rebel in its own spoils what if we only give him f we give him four and just keep a case for ourselves? Right. We're only a we... party of five, so uh, how much is in one case? Um, Twenty bottles. Okay, yeah, no, oh. that's plenty. And only we have think... we have five cases back of the ship. Yeah, and one of us is a skeleton. One of us can't drink. One of us refuses to drink. So there's only two people. You guys got ten bottles each. And one is a blinding alcoholic. Yeah, you're one of the one blinding alcoholic. So uh, I keep a case for myself. You can do whatever you want for the four. <laughs> do you wish to give three? Yeah, why not? Who's gonna go back to the ship and grab the three? <laughs> I'll I got go. it. I can okay. fly. I was gonna say, I'll I go can around. fly. It makes it technically faster. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! What are you even mm. a wooing at? You're looking at a table. Fine. We have three more cases for you. Give me a moment. I'll go grab it. How's that? I must say that you are becoming. You are definitely becoming more. What's the word? 
profiting than I would have expected. This is good for some new timers like this, you. This guy's doing the whole, uh, we're giving you experience instead of paying you shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally that. That's exactly yeah. what's happening right now. It's Oi, my bad. you black clothes boy. Who are you? You're the guy who took the last contract. You don't remember? I remember who... The, what he did. As you grab, drop down the other cases of wine, the bartender will come and pick them up. He puts them into storage. Oh, like Captain Bill takes out a small line. coin purse and tosses it onto the table. As said before, your payment for the party. Good work, everyone, and making sure that you have done your diligence. Very well done. I grab the coin purse and hand out, uh, I believe it's 20 gold total, right? Yes. So five each. Yes. Oh, five, yeah, five each to everyone. Two each and five gold. Did I make really aggressive? I got another shiny I rock. Quick. Oh, then. Ten grams of fiber. That's not what I want. Get the fuck out of here, Ad. <laughs> Quaker Oats. Captain Bone sits there and rattles his bones happily as he takes one of the drinks from the table as he chugs it, placing Hold it back on. down on the table. Skeletons can drink? It might just like go dry. straight through him, but sure. The, the alcohol is, does trickle down his bones as it does. Captain Barbosa. <laughs> The liquid does drop down through his skeletal chest as it does plop down on the floor with drips of alcohol. Mr. Bone? He laughs as he continues to uh, pretty much like raise like the raise like the bard's spirits. Pretty much everyone is cheering, everyone is drinking. That was such a waste of a bottle though. Yeah, you just I was gonna Yo, ask if that did anything for him, honestly. <laughs> or it was just for fun. It was just, just for fun. fun. Okay. Just for looks. The cloaked man the cloaked man sits in the back on his own table. Staring at the wall. He's not staring at the wall, he's staring at the rest of the wall. That's a bucket. That's really a book in a bucket. That's a shitty ass table. Corners. Imagine that there are more tables in this bar. <laughs> so Captain Bones sits there, places his hand on the cutlass as he begins to rub his chin. You know, considering that you have done such a fine job, I'll tell you what. And I either stay here for a while or I may be able to bring you more contracts at a later time. They are more than welcome to do as you wish. But please, you are part of the smugglers and you are welcome here at Smugglers Outpost, no matter where you go in the world. As long as you don't do anything that brings it, brings it back to me. For now, you are fully members of the smugglers. And congratulations on passing your first contract. He rattles his bones once more as he oh, he rattles Rattle his bones me once bones. more as he begins as he begins to walk back up to his place. Can I stare at the man in black in the corner now? You stare at the man in the back of the corner. Cool. Do we make really aggressive eye contact? You make really aggressive eye contact to the man in the black robes. He oh. stares at you. You are unable to see what you you are able to, you are unable to see his expression through his mask. That's fine. I just want him to see what's in my eyes. It's puppies. The bartender takes up the empty drinks oh, he and he looks at the rest of the party. And the one. Uh, so one considering that you all are here under, so since you all are here under Captain's protection, I guess, which means you don't have to pay for your table. Though I would appreciate if you can continue to order while you're here, so I can continue to make money here. That being said, do you any of you need anything to eat? At this can point, I my, time, no. no. Can I use That's my fine. eyes to guilt trip him into giving me something to eat? What did um, you say? <laughs> can I use my eyes to guilt trip him into giving me something to eat? 
make a persuasion check. Hold on. How do I do this? Go to uh, your, be... where your proficiencies and skills are, where you can oversee action spells yeah. and inventories in the middle I thing. Per, I see persuasion. On persuasion, click on the bonus. I believe it is. Yes. I meant to do that. How persuasive? There we go. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh. I'm you... not very persuasive. That's um, pretty good. Pretty good, actually. Um, what did you want, Arbiter? I just wanted to use my puppy dog eyes to uh, guilt trip him into wanting to give me food. The man looks at the looks at the raccoon. He sighs. Anyone else need anything? No. No. No way. thanks. I'm good. Thank you though. The bartender walks back and he comes out with a half loaf of bread as he tosses it to the uh to the raccoon. <laughs> Oh, he walks crazy. over to the other tables. Hi, happy raccoon. Okay. I was just um, getting people to so give him free shit. At the current moment, it is 12.39. Uh, do you guys want to end session here for a little bit of a session zero? Or do you guys want to keep going for a little bit? I'm fucking tired. I just want to do one more thing before we go, before I forget to do it. I just wanted to kill okay. from somebody today. Um, my character pulls out a small knife and notches three lines into the top of his bow. Or her bow. You take out a knife and you notch three... I'm gonna do a... Ice throw. Did you get the kill on That's all funny. three of them? You take a knife and you With notch it into help. your bow. <laughs> No, 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 no. Did, did, he, did he get the final blow on all three of them? Yes. Mm -hmm. I did, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you notch, you have three notches onto your bow. Nice. Okay. I um, track of that too. <laughs> does anybody else want to do anything before we end it here? I put three notches on my jack. You do what? <laughs> what? <laughs> on your no. what? Nothing, nothing. Hey. Thanks for watching till the end of this video. Uh, we're going to try to go for like one every at minimum like two weeks of video comes out. Uh, the sessions happen on Saturday. If you're interested in D&D or D&D like content, the Discord is in the description. Talk with Cyan or Dro or whoever is hosting the current campaign because I don't know how dated this video will be in the future. And yeah, this video, uh, the, the recording for the session was originally actually five, almost five hours. It's four hours, 45 minutes. I, it is a long video. I don't expect anyone to watch the whole thing. Uh, I recommend listening to it if you want to listen, because it's much better as a listening experience, even though we do use Tailspire for a visual description of things. Um, auditory is probably best for future videos so you don't have to uh you know be paying attention there's not a lot going on on the screen i have i i have adhd so i tend to mess around but um i hope you enjoy if you have any uh recommendations for games to play or things for me to do to like improve as a content creator let me know uh just a reminder i am a part-time employee college student and I do this um, so my schedule is a little packed so sorry for inconsistencies sometimes I just get a lot of stress and I just can't you know but yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed <laughs>